go. Hey, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening, everybody? Uh, welcome. Welcome. We did we get an <laughs> intro? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Welcome back to our channel. Hi, no, don't look at me like that, Bolo. <laughs> My love. Anyway. Uh, let's see. I'm I'm trying to call him the most unfortunate soul. Um, let's see. You know what? Yeah. Marshall, will you go ahead and give the recap from we last week? Um uh, it started the off. digest version is fine. Okay, cool. Um we're in hell. There you go. That's the one. No. <laughs> okay, like <laughs> uh, no, the group uh, decided to go after Orion, talk to the Oracle. She gave them some uh, directions and some tips uh, to look for a portal. We went to an elementary school, got caught creeping, um, and then taken to the gymnasium where we fought a big giant and two harpies, uh, found the portal to hell, and then made our way through it after a, uh, a fun little puzzle. And now we're facing down a big three-headed dog. Uh, that that ought to do it. That ought to do it. Um, and so at the tail end, you are in fact looking at a big three-headed dog. Huh. So, um, would you like to roll into initiative for me? Oh, we're just going straight into it. Oh no, right. we, we don't get to talk to the puppy. Yeah, yeah. You no, know forget, forgive me, forgive me. You may go ahead and talk to the puppy if you would like. Good boy. Uh, Hello. Does anyone have a ball? Um. Wait, I think I might. What? Wait, I have, oh, I have, I have, I have some rope. I have 10 feet of rope, apparently. Can I pull out the rope and, like, toss one into him and act like we're going to play tug of war? Hey, buddy. Do you want to yeah. play? My friend's got yeah. a big tug over here. We're yeah. just trying to pass by all peacefully. There's no need to be alarmed. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Will you? Will you roll? Um. My gosh, my brain is. Sorry. Will you roll persuasion? Persuasion. Oh. Okay. So I, for me or for. Well, that's perception. That is perception. Oh. <laughs> you keep the roll. Wait, what is him? My persuasion is a plus one, so oh. and it's a. So yeah, so it would have been a twenty. Are we keeping a roll? Yeah, we keep the roll. Okay, there we go. Um, so, yeah. So that's a dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Uh, where are you? Where are you at again? I'm sorry. Weeping. Uh, <laughs> currently I'm at the back. Oh yeah. Well, well, this one. Seems uh seems to like that. He's going right here. Uh-huh. Okay. Are 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 they trying to play tug of war or what what what's going on? This one's moving towards you. I don't I don't know about all that, but it's moving towards you. It has it has um, kind of a confused look on its face. But um, start... but mind you, will you <laughs> mind you, will you give me a perception check just really quick, just you? Just me? Um, yeah, just you. Yeah, this one has not taken his eyes off of you. And that is um this one. Has not taken his eye off directly you. It's looking at you. All three heads. And I'll be like, I'll I'll shake the rope and be like, come on. You can play, buddy. <laughs> Who's a good boy? So is this a dog or an animal? Uh it is Kaylee's about for, this to fuck for this purpose, um, yeah, why not? For this purpose, it's a dog ish. I'm going to try and charm it. I'm going to pull out my deity thing, which is what? my um, wood sculpture, and attempt to charm him. Okay, he needs to beat a 14. A beat a 14. All right. Ooh. All right. He's charmed. 
Oh. That actually worked, y'all. <laughs> oh it did. Shit, there's more? Boy, <laughs> well, he's got three heads. Oh my god, Tristan's forgive here? Me. Hey, forgive me. Um... Yeah, I'm 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 a little new to this. He is definitely not a beast. Is he bullshit? <laughs> no, that's fair. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's the it's the it's the you know second game DMing. You know how it is. I am yeah, saddened it's... by that a lot, Christian. But <laughs> I guess I'm, not. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and move back to. <laughs> oh um, yeah. Uh, Insight. Does he look like he's about to bite me? Um, it's looking like it's enough talk. So, um, <laughs> roll into initiative for me. Uh, no, we okay. tried. Oh god. D twenty three. There we go. That is correct. And I'll, I also add my intelligence modifier, so that's actually a twenty two. You can do whatever the hell you want. No. <laughs> Apparently, I can't play tug of war. Uh, uh, um, oh god, don't let me roll, guys. <laughs> let me be against you because I'm not. Obviously, open. you're not gonna be good for the team. Can I have a bear token when you get a chance? Did you say that you want a bear? Yeah, I had a bear when we came in. That's yeah, fair. I will get. You, I will get you the bear. Bring back the fire. Yeah, we need, bear. We, need, we need the bear. I'm getting, I'm getting the bear. I'm getting the bear. No disrespect. Uh, talk. <laughs> Will you roll for me once more? Yo. So, question: Is this also a beast that we have to fight? Oh man. Probably. It. Roll a nature check. <laughs> Dude, I love the initiatives of those hellhounds. <laughs> A three and a four. Oh my goodness. Hey, um, McKaylee, I'm copying the bear from the gymnasium map, so it should have the HP of, like, left on it from last time. Cool. Thank you. Roar. Christian, you were not ready. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> I was... They were, they were confused by the rope. I, I I gotta say, is the rope? It was the rope. It was. I the tried rope. the Percy Jackson the approach. I didn't know if like I would get anything from trying to do it like the books or not. I didn't well, have. I all. respect it. I respect it. Oh, it wasn't lost on me, my friend. I know the lore. Well, I should have prepared a red ball. All right. <laughs> all right. Starting from the top. Was it Elias or Leas? Or Alias. 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 Alien Alias. Got it. All right. What would you like to do first? All right. I am going to cast. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to cast. Or I'm going to be doing it on the hell on the hellhound on the right. Okay. I'm going to be casting Bolt. I always forget to do the attack roll instead of the actual thing. Does a 17 hit? It does. Okay. For five lightning damage. And actually, I have a, whatchamacallit, that I didn't use all last session. Oh. Or do I have to use a spell? There's this that's part of my subclass. All right. It says with a wizard spell, would that also apply to cantrips or no? My friend? Um, I would imagine no, but also I'm not sure. Go for it. You're 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 ruling, Christian. Oh. <laughs> I'll hate you. Um, <laughs> I'll go. Let's see. Power surge. Can uh, okay, yeah, it says apparently as long as they're on the wizard spell list. Yeah, all right. This one's a modified version of Firebolt. Hank just let it be a lightning since my character's yeah. lightning thing. So, yeah, it'd be on the wizard right. spell list. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, uh, he takes another extra 
force damage equal to half my wizard level, so that's eight damage. Oh. All right. Except and it's immune to lightning. What? <laughs> elemental death. And uh, is that all? Or I mean, in what? case they do have any corn of uh, resistance to lightning, I do have that. So actually, wait, let me check. Oh, actually, there's a I, that actually does help. That one actually, that's another mm -hmm. damage on the lightning because any one becomes a two. So it's, oh, that actually boy. did help. That you mentioned that. So that'll be a total of nine yeah. damage. Six left. Yeah. I don't worry. No one's on me. That's my bad, Christian. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> All right. So, um, next up, Alex. What are we doing, buddy? Flipping. So hey. I'm going to <laughs> flip over here, I it. which is 25 feet away. Shit. So do you jump? Like, how you do it? Like you just I jump just over me and I, I, I just, I just walk over. I have speed. <laughs> oh, just checking. Just checking. I was just being a jackass. Um, and I'm going to try to do a sneak attack with my dagger of venom. Oh, shit. Okay, it does not hit. What? Why would you have advantage on that also? I don't know. What? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's pulling a Kara. It does not hit. Or, what, what's her? No, not pulling a Kara. Wait, what's okay. the rogue subclass? Are you assassin? Uh, mastermind rogue. I don't know. Okay. Don't know. Anyway. You, you, don't, you wouldn't have the advantage there, unfortunately. So no well, attack, but just regular if, attack. But you if, did. If that's the case, then I'm gonna throw. Go ahead and do this, and move back to where I was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Such a bitch move. A bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and that is all. <laughs> oh, wait, real quick though. Tristan, you don't get your full movement again when you do that. You just get to take the dash or the disengage action. Or are you I'm dashing? I'm dashing. Oh, oh then he gets to an attack at you and fight at you. All right. Let's see here. I hit. Uh, my uh, I'll, so I, I'll still re barbs it. He has to re roll. All right. Mm. Tristan, are you the squishy boo boo? Oh. I, I am indeed squishy. Okay. Yeah, and I'll actually give that 20 to Tristan so his next attack he will have advantage. So he'll he can sneak attack. He can still attack because rogues can use cunning action as a bonus action. Or he didn't he try to attack before? He did. Yeah, he did with oh. the dagger. But, but yeah, but That's his okay. next attack, no matter what, he'll have uh, uh sneak attack. Ability check or saving throws, whatever the next roll he has to make is. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All no, right. Yeah, it has advantage on the next attack roll, so yeah, he can do an attack roll. Hawk, what are we doing? What did you call me? <laughs> I I also heard cock. No, we all heard cock. <laughs> oh. ah. I'm gonna fly ten feet in the air. All right. <laughs> Do it. And then I will fly directly over the bear. All right. Just chilling up here, and I'm yep. gonna uh, take two shots at. Uh, Cerberus. All right. Where? Wait, what? What? For some reason, my longbow plus one gives me less of an a, an attack roll than my normal longbow. Why is that? Uh, try to yeah, I think it's probably. You might not have your proficiency. Oh, for oh. some reason, my other longbow had a plus two additional. Why is that? Is that what I made my? What did I do? Good. Oh, no. It's too much to pay attention to right now. We're just rolling with it. All right, two shots. <laughs> 11 and oh. 10. <laughs> Not in this lifetime. I'm... All right, well, maybe you um, should have messed with it. He's just going to chill there while Brendan figures out if I should add plus two to those. 
<laughs> and that, that'll be my turn. <laughs> All right. Now it is Severus's turn. Let's see. Wait, why is it there if he had eight year old before? Christian, did you uh, put this in order? Just... No, that was for the because the tie was between me and Tuck. Oh. oh. Yeah, okay. so I went after Tuck. So I'm gonna make you a 13 and I'm gonna move Milo down to an 11 and make yeah, you a 12. Yeah. That way it just fixes it. And it's I'm easier. not cheating, I promise. I don't have to. <laughs> I, just, I just went out of my way to fix them and then it went back. I'm like, I don't know what's happening anymore. So <laughs> it seemed like you tried to cheat. Some bullshit. It was my you turn. You didn't the token. That's, that's gotta be what it was. <laughs> hey, man, I don't need that from you. <laughs> And you're right, I didn't. But I did on the Hellhound, though. I'm learning. <laughs> um, he is going to move right here. <laughs> oh, no. And he is going to... Leave me alone. <laughs> Go with Fire Breath. Good. Oh, that... Because guess what? Does that hit? It does not. Oh. Wait, hold on. What's um, it is not this time, unfortunately. Well, it's the range. Yeah. Uh, sorry, that's not that's it's not an attack. Um, let's see. What is an attack? Sorry. Here's what it is. I'll just throw it in the chat. Uh, oh no. Yeah. Oh, that's worse. So yeah. 15 feet cone. Um, friend, will you help me draw the cone? Yeah, it's gonna hit ev um the bear, Kaida, Ta uh, Talia, and Talk. Is it gonna hit me? Um, it's not gonna hit Milo. It's gonna dissipate right before Milo. So if you guys do get hit, um, because you're within 30 feet of me, you do get to take half damage. What? It looks I like that's only that. one character or one creature. Yeah. yeah, you have to use your reaction. I'll use my reaction. And you okay. get one. Okay, so I only need one of you to get hit at a time. Thank you, though. Dex saves boys and girls. Dex saves, please. Wait, one of us gets resistance. <laughs> uh, let's wait and see who fails to save. Yeah, uh, well, Kaida got a seven. Uh, Good work, Kaida. Did you roll it? Did you just type seven? Well, I <laughs> I rolled it with my die, but for, like, you know, keeping track. Uh, okay. I, I, I've been putting it in the chat. <laughs> All right, talk, talk takes half this damage. Talk. Night. Tally, will you roll for the bear as well? Yeah. Great. <laughs> My little Kata, you can take half. Thank Dampen you. the bear. The bear Most might be better, bear. so, like, I get it. <laughs> the bear <laughs> might be better? <laughs> I mean, Kaida can't breathe fire, so... All right, so Jinx we'll be taking. Not bad. Um, thirty-seven fire damage. Unless you beat it, in which no. case you take. Quick math. Eighteen. Eighteen. So I also Ooh. take eighteen because of Milo. Correct. <laughs> That's half my HP. Nice. Okay, Thank so you. we all get half? What's happening? Yeah, eight, eight, minus 18. The bear takes 37, though, unfortunately. Oh, the bear. Oh. The bear. Yeah, the bear's, bear's dumb. Dang. Good thing you got a bag of those things. Bad. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> I would just like to bring attention to uh, my enemy from my uh, one shot did more damage with an 86. And I was still... Oh, that, was that, up, that was a fucked up thing. And you did. everyone hated you for it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I got sickly. Y'all brought during. the NPC that could heal. So y'all were okay. All right. Um. Oh, did the bear die? That's it. Yeah. Bye, though. Well. Um, first of all, I want to know if they are undead creatures. Probably fiends. Um, kind no. of when no, they're my favorite yeah. enemy if they are fiends, which I don't think gives me anything useful. Um, the thing I will do is I will use one of my necklace balls, and um, three people right will get less, 
I will go ahead and use that on McKaylee, Talk, and Tristan. Um, I forget everyone's name. You got Talk, though. <laughs> well, Talk shows up on mine, so. And Talk's just, like, it's Talk and Cock, so it's, you know, it's, it's there. <laughs> it works. So many levels. Like, a, like an onion. <laughs> anyway, um... Let's do cure wounds. Um, at level two on Marshall. It is a touch spell, so you have to get close to it. Or do you have a thing? I can do that. And I'm so glad. You get 12, by the way. Hell yeah. Okay. But I will go 510 right there. And then 5, 10, 20, 25. And I will go there. And that will be my turn. All right. Thank you. Mm. Talia. Sorry. Wrong button. You're okay. You're not. <laughs> I don't judge often. <laughs> I'm just gonna move away from that. <laughs> no, that's fair. Um, and I'll cast Dissonant Whispers at level two. On the big guy. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, he's wise as shit. Cool. There we go. <laughs> Why is he wise? That didn't work. Okay. I don't know how to work it then. I'll he's roll a it. Pooper. Plus, do I get like a charisma addition to my d20? Can uh, you help me figure this out, please? Oh, uh, what are you doing? Dissonant whispers? Oh, uh, yeah, I tried to cast it, but it just came up with the text block. It didn't come up with the. Yeah, they have to save a DC 16. Okay, so I don't have to roll. Uh, then you roll the damage, which is 3d6 psychic damage. 4d6, because I rolled it. Second one. 4d6. Yep. Okay. Nailed it. You know exactly what's going on. Hit him. Hit do him. it. Do it. <laughs> I'm sure, sure. I can do Brendan. <laughs> All right. So it was how much? How much damage? Did it hit? No. So well, seven? I mm -hmm. thought I thought on a failed save it still takes that damage as half. Oh wait, wait, never mind. Yeah, oh, it it does. Does. you just don't have to move. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I took half. So that means I can do. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Nailed it. Oh, I see your roll. I was like, what is happening? Yeah, I was I was like, what's she talking about? Okay. Sorry. No, you're good, friend. Um, that that's it. All right. Kaida. What are we doing, girl? Uh, I'm going to use my action to disengage. All right. Because uh, I don't want to be near that thing. Um, and from here, I'm going to use my bonus action to summon my shark totem. Uh, so let's see. Each creature of my choice which in, within a 30-foot radius. Um, let's see. I need measurements. Okay, 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 okay. There you go. Cool. Um, all of us except Alex get uh, 11 temp hit points. Nice. Except nice. Alex? Yeah, he's not within uh, 30 feet. Yeah, I am. Yeah. You're talking about uh, Alias. You mean Alias? No, Alias is within 30 feet. Alex is Alex, Alex, you're right here. 
Yeah. Oh, sorry, my Where's Alias then? Because my screen's messed up. Alex is right here. For... Alex is over by the dog for me. Oh, it yeah, must not have updated right. when he moved back. Just refresh. Yeah. Okay. Um, where's where's Alias again? Okay, then yeah, he's he's, he's still within thirty sorry. feet of where I'm at on my screen. I don't know if it shows that. Um, but then yeah, everyone uh gets uh eleven ten hit points. Nice. And nice. Uh, I believe it's also advantage on strength saving throws and strength checks. Deal. Um, That's so cool. What is bless? Uh, mm. That'll be my turn. All right. It is the hellhound's turn. It ranges back. Is that about the second? See. Or a uh, short rest? No, it's a long rest. Hellhounds move at damn. All right. Uh, let's see. One second, y'all. All right. Move right here. right here and the other hellhound what this hellhound is that one right here is going to hold on there's two hellhounds when did that happen hey <laughs> oh he just came out um just is going to do a fire breath um what? it is a dc 12 dexterity Draw that cone. I shall. Let's see. Uh, will you help me out, Will? It, it feels like Kaida and Tok are the only ones getting hit again. It feels like, yeah. <laughs> All right. And I'm rolling for this. I, I... Okay. I did better. I got a 20 that time. Oh, good. All right. Do I get any advantages? No. no. Oh, it doesn't matter. Well, well, fire damage. Oh, so y'all are just gonna kill us and see how it is. No, it's okay. <laughs> Talk and I only should have taken one because of the tenth hit points. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you wait for the save, did you guys add in the blast too? Oh, you blessed me too. They passed their saves. Yeah, okay. but they passed. Okay. Yeah. I didn't get blessed anyway, so. <laughs> hey. It was. I thought it was. No, Brendan, Colby, and um, McKaylee. Mm. No. It was because it I was... said. Yeah, oh. I know Tristan, Tristan and McKay. <laughs> Tristan, McKaylee. Yeah. Oh. oh. Why that dog sideways? <laughs> oh, he, he, he's he's turning. Um, and Leonidas is gonna catch. Yeah, I a I have not chance to rage yet. So if you could not, uh, yeah, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna catch fast. a bite in the oh, place. A ten does hit. God damn it! Wait, really? <laughs> Our character <laughs> sucks. Oh my you made You made <laughs> Oh, for twenty-one damage. Oh, <laughs> uh, ten is piercing, eleven is fire. Um, you're right. Use your reaction this time. Was it last? You haven't gone again yet. Okay, that's what I thought. Ow! But good thing we had that extra HP. And that is all. It is now Leonidas' turn. Bonus action rage. Um, <laughs> And then we're just going to start so winging, I believe. I just, I can't get over that a rapier is your best weapon. <laughs> I find that's that good. so upsetting. Damn. That's not uh, 21 bad. into 17. Both hit. All right, 17 piercing damage. Men on the second one, if anyone's curious. 
Yay. Um, and thanks, buddy. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I actually did pass the 10 save. Oh, well, I didn't say it. He has 11 to AC because he's dual wielding. Oh. So, retroactive no damage? Yeah, he doesn't know my character. That's Wait, fine. You should have a 12. Why do you have your AC armor class set as a 10? That's not my fault. Wait, is it? Like it is. <laughs> <laughs> unarmored defense says 10 plus your dex plus your, plus con. your con. So he has a zero to dex, a one to con. That's crazy. And then he's dual wielding, so it should actually be 12. Ah. <laughs> well, um, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Jake, I'm, I'm putting the HP back. Fuck. No, fuck put the, the HP back. back. <laughs> <laughs> it's all fair. It's all fair. It's all fair. And oh, then, yeah. also, this thing happens. Oh, no. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot I picked this. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Hmm. I like it. All right. Okay. That was all. That was a, that was a lot. Also, I do have my reaction back, because that monster attacks before I run. Oh, did. Nice. Did you want to use oh, it? Oh, is that all, Leonidas? Is your non hit hit? Yeah, that's it. All right, next. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> trying to find a good angle for this. Got it. Mm. Robert, stop being a freak. Has it been here? Hit him? I hit him. Okay, that's good. I take like this angle right here and I cast Lightning Bolt. That's, you know. It's not just a straight line. It has like five to width. If I do it like this, does that hit all three of them? Three. Uh, if it has five to width, I would say that would hit Leonidas. It does feel like it also hits Leonidas. Could I? If I do it slightly more over, like maybe if you do it that way, it would only hit this hellhound and Severus, I would say. If that's the route you would like to go. If I was to move here, maybe? I don't know. Hmm? No. No. Unless you like to fry them alive, and I'm 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 cool with that either way. But <laughs> I don't want to do that. Huh. He's already killed one person on his party in this can uh, I, <laughs> series. You know, I mean, if that person three in the it would have happened, but that's beside the point. But, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, crap. Now nah, I won't do it. I'll just cast, uh, I do a shatter. All right. Yeah, okay, I'll do a shatter on the other two that are far away. Okay, cool. Fuck Leonidas. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm not um... doing. I'm not hitting them. <laughs> Your team. Oh yeah. So then, yeah, they need to make a save. I think. Yeah, they those two over there need to make a Constitution save. Oh, they both fail, so they both take three d eight. Christian's rolling like a DM. Oh, oh. Um, well. Hmm. Both of those ones become twos because of elemental adept, so they both oh, take seven. Seven. Uh, rough. Be. That's rough. Level it's two. Seven. That's a level two. That's a level two. I was just checking. Kill. That's fourteen oh. damage. That ain't bad. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. And then I'll also move here, so uh, Leonidas can get advantage. Nice. Hell yeah. But I think that's all I got. All right, Alec. Do a flip. I will not. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, I'm going to move right here. Nope. Right there. Okay. And I'm going to shoot this hoe right here. Yes, nice. sir. Nice. Shoot that With my short bow. Yeah. And I'm also going to use sneak attack because I have advantage thanks to Colby earlier. All right. Facts. 
Yes. God damn it. Or 15. Nope. It's advantage, so 15. Ah, then let me just check real quick. Uh, me to beat, yep. Oh, hell yeah. That was gonna hurt if that missed. That was gonna hurt. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Fantastic. Roll the damage. So, and then I also have to roll 3d6, correct? Because of the sneak attack? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, nice. All right, All right. I think that's the first time I've done damage in this campaign. It is, but that is a, <laughs> real, a crucial time, my friend. At a crucial time. All right. Um, is that all? Yeah, I think so. All right. Let's see. Talk. What are we doing, my man? How tall is this room? <laughs> what a question. <laughs> I would say this room is at least 50 feet. All right. I'm flying another 25 what? feet straight up. Just straight right. up in the air. For those of you keeping count at home, that's 35 feet in the air. Nice. <laughs> and I am. Hawk is going to reach in his bag, and he's going to find the explosive thingy that was u- supposed to be used to kill the dryads that I grabbed at some point <clears throat> last campaign. Well, actually, first he's going to grab the Mountain Dew, take a quick sip, and then he's going to grab the explosive <laughs> thingy, and he's going he's gonna to attach it to his bow, and he's going to take... His first, uh, his first shot at uh, Cerberus with explosive thingy. <clears throat> That's what it is called in my inventory. Just so you guys know. Yeah, it's uh, the explosives that were going to be attached to arrows to kill the dryads in an art show. Um, okay. They had d ten fire damage on a hit. Actually, even on a miss, because it would explode regardless. Okay. Let's roll in that one. In which case, it yeah, explodes. that will hit. <laughs> it will. And then, wow, that was kind of lame, but, <laughs> uh, all right. Chris, oh, I have a question. Um, when yeah. that thing explodes on Cerberus, does it, the Cerberus seem to care about the explosion and that fire damage? I kind of just looked at it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, there's only four anyway, jackasses. Anyway, <laughs> I'll hang on to my other explosive thingy and let loose another arrow. <laughs> Fuck your dog. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how'd you get to attack eight. twice? Huh? Wow. How'd you get to attack twice? Oh, well, my friend. Because of that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, and with that, talk will hang out again 35 feet in the air. <laughs> <laughs> mm. right, um <clears throat> ah yes it is my turn hold on <clears throat> all right so uh Severus is going to move Right here. That's not where I wanted him to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's he's gonna move right here, and uh, actually, yeah, he's gonna move right there, and he's he's just really not liking Leo. Um. So he <laughs> is going to well, make a fight. <laughs> yeah, I mean a twenty-seven obviously hits. Wait, but he's dual wielding. <laughs> 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 you know what's worse is I don't even know what he's dual wielding. You put that dual wielder thing in there. Can you dual yeah. wield? Uh, no, yeah, he's dual wielding a rapier yeah, dual- and a quarter and, staff. Yeah, you see it oh, as a barbarian. Yes. <laughs> what is 
Christian, you uh, know I no. love you, but what the fuck? <laughs> you know what? I've never played a barbarian before, and let me tell you, I think I was playing it wrong. You were. <laughs> yeah. it was an experience, yes. Our wrong. local barbarian expert is no. telling you that you were the worst barbarian we've ever had. <laughs> I didn't say that. I did say not. That. What's worse is the magic weapon that Leonidas has deals fire damage. So Leo's just out here doing his best this fight. <laughs> Um, yeah, I took the 17. All right. Cool. <laughs> uh, and that is Severus's turn. Okay, I really thought he might have a second okay. play. I would like to apologize. Wait. I would have silvery barbs, but he got 27 without even getting a nat 20. I think with a two, he needs your AC. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's not Aren't worth it. Are you raging now? Oh, I will take half of the piercing. Let's go. <laughs> What about play? Fuck. First. <laughs> What'd you say? Learn how to play. Oh my god. Um, I'm on Too your much. team right now. Too much time behind the DM screen. Forgot how to be a player. Wow. Facts. Facts all around. Anywho. Yo hoes. Ah, <laughs> uh, Milo, your turn. Milo's going to take a deep sigh when he sees that Leonardo's getting hit again. Um, as an action, I'm going to get out to my ring. And William or Christian, can you put my little guy out? You can. Oh, I can? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, it's going to be funny if it doesn't work, though. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what the dry is. I do like, like that. Oh, that's like a little naked girl. <laughs> oh, anyway, that's my action. Bonus action. Um, healing word at Leonardo. Leonidas. I haven't taken any damage. You haven't? No, I was given 11 extra HP and he took 11 damage last oh, time. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, th this is embarrassing. Um... <laughs> Talk looks bad. Oh no. I'm I'm doing all right, but not not great. Isn't it? Flying. Uh, so you get three plus whatever my spell costing modifier is, which is either three or four. <clears throat> Where do I find that? It's your wisdom. Just yeah. a three. Three. So you get six back. And I'm going to step back here. Thank you. Roll your um, dry and health. And yes, please. And it's their turn, I believe. It is. So I've been for my dryad, just taking their average health, I believe. Cool. Um, which is twenty-two. Go ahead. And, um, so if he. Damn, I roll it. Still got twenty-two. <laughs> Love it. Love it. So my dryad's gonna go around here and it's like, ah, oh, I'm back in the world, finally. Um, and it's not a beast, which is unfortunate. So it's going to go um, over here. And... Um, Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Oh, got him. Whack him. For 10 damage. Wow. Nice. And that'll be its turn. That's a good... <clears throat> That's a good turn. Is there anything else? Oh, oh it actually it? has reach, so I'm going to go back there. Okay. Okay. That's it. All right, Talia. Yeah. I'm gonna do and it whispers again on this guy. On um, which one? The this hellhound. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, cool. And what is far away? Be lost away from you. All right. Hey, 
What? See a bitch. <laughs> All right. And it is the <clears throat> Is that is that your turn? Oh, it's, it's me? Yes, that's it. All right. It is now the Hell Health's turn. So let's see. This Hell Hell. Wait, what about me? <laughs> what was that? I think, I think you skipped me. <laughs> oh, that's you it? <laughs> Where are you at? I... Oh, you were so right. Yeah, kind of. My bad. Your turn. <laughs> Um, Thank you for speaking up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't want my turn skipped. Um, <laughs> uh, I am. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, Ice knife. On. Uh, big boy. Big boy. All right. Does a 22 hit? It does hit, yes. yes cool. Hit. Uh, let's see. Oh, I did not do it. I wanted to, okay. I guess this is first level now. Uh, it takes nine piercing, and then I need a deck save from it. Nine. Cool. So it takes an extra six cold damage for 15 total. Let's see. All right. <laughs> Burn D. Uh, and then I'm just going to move a little closer uh, to Milo. Will you, give me a, will you give me an inside <laughs> check real quick? Absolutely. But I'm kind of scared to. Uh, inside. I got you don't have to do it, Mark. <laughs> Uh, that is a nineteen. Nineteen. Um, big boys looking pretty, looking pretty strong. Um, oh, he's got a cut, but he's looking pretty strong. Okay, maybe a little bit angrier. Sorry, that's my turn. Just thought you should know. <laughs> um, now it is the Hellhound's turn. Thought you should know. Um, Let's see. This one is gonna turn this way. What I like He's, not... <laughs> He's not liking being cornered, and he is gonna make a bite attack right here. Uh, how could he? How could he? <laughs> 21 hit. It does. I'm trying to think if I want to silver bar exit. Um... Nah, I won't so far it. Seventeen mm. damage. All right. I'm gonna do this, and you can take duty six off of that. Uh, ah, yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Subtract eight from that seventeen, Colby. Oh, yes. That's only nine. That's <laughs> that's really nice. That's fantastic. That's why I chose them. <laughs> <laughs> all right um see. all right uh this one right here and it is going to do a actually hold on one second. From Bell. Mm -hmm. My dad made it to Florida. Yeah. Uh it is going to do a fire breath attack. And DC twelve decks. On who, where? Oh, sorry. <laughs> 
Oh, just on Talia? <laughs> Gonna run up the blast, Talia? It's fucking rude. Add a D. Plus, right? Plus D4. That's good. I will use my reaction to half her damage. Cool. Half of one? Oh, no. <laughs> half of 23. Close. Twice. Or Twice. Twice. Yeah, so forth. 11 and then 5, I think, total. Beautiful. 11 and 5. <laughs> half of 23 is 11 because it's rounded down, then half of 11 rounded down at 5. Oh. <laughs> and. So I'm Leo. Only... What's, what's happening? I feel like I did something wrong. No, <laughs> no, it's your turn. Brendan's just killing me. Oh, is he talking mess in there? Um, uh, no, he just he made a joke and it was a good joke. Is a quarter staff a finesse weapon? Damn, the final. Um, rapiers are. I know the rapier is, but I only have the one. I don't think quarter staffs are finesse. Uh, no, it is not a finesse weapon. So it's a ver versatile. He gave finesse. him dual wielder, but <laughs> didn't give him two weapons he can attack with while dual wielding, Christian. Hey man, <laughs> no, technically, I technically I would do two. Like, I don't know, man. I'm just out here trying to live. Uh, <laughs> no, no, you're good. I'm just being. Sassy at this point. Uh, I'm gonna rage rapier this guy a couple times. Um, yeah. Ooh. A twenty six and a ten. Does uh, does the ten hit? No, but the twenty six does. Well, piercing minimum, minimum. <laughs> minimum on He's all really three not rolls. Doing... Oh no! He's not doing well. <laughs> no. That's a no. Um, and uh. I think I will then that's it. That's this turn. Alright. Next. Hmm. Would it be wrong to ask Kathleen that is how much health he has right now? What? Leonidas looks like he's like looks good. Okay. Well, Sorry, Leonidas. Well, I hate to do this again, but I'm doing this it. Is crazy. They're, they're I too well it. lined up. And I'll, uh, talk <laughs> is in the air, so this should not oh, hit him. Just uh, Should have saved my reaction, then. Jesus Christ. Wait, wait, you guys, don't worry. Please. I have plus zero to deaths. <laughs> As a barbarian, do you get advantage? Oh, I rolled an 11. <laughs> uh, well, they all, all right. need to roll because uh, let's do it. Slash R eight D six thirteen damage. Ooh. Looks less good now. <laughs> uh, everyone failed. <laughs> Was that three? Oh, your DC not a fourteen, Colby? Awesome. Oh wait, oh my DC is a fourteen. My bad. For some reason, I thought it was a fifteen. So. So Cerberus passes, but the Wait, other what, two what? Did you just roll another one just to get one that would pass? You already rolled two <laughs> fails. No, I have... Oh, no, my bad. I thought that was seven. <laughs> okay. No, you're good. All, All right. right, so Cerberus is the only one that All passes. Right. Could I also use my reaction to make it to Silvery Barbs to Cerberus, or is that too that much? That sounds crazy, yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds crazy. Also not how Silvery Barbs works, but I love it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's what's going through my head. Right this now. one. Thirty. Yeah, this one poofs into black dust. Let's go. And this one. Uh, inside check. Da, 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 da. I think just called it. Just kidding. I, I think it might have healed a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he looks stronger. He looks stronger than ever. You know when Evie becomes up there. like I, 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 I do have this like just in case. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, talk. Um, it's it's huffing and puffing a little bit. All right. 
Oh. Throw another explosive bolt at it. <laughs> other hellhound, or what about the other hellhound? How's that one doing? Oh, the other one disappeared. In the black smoke. Oh, the one on the far left? No, the one on the far left is huffing and puffing. This one right here is gone. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Oh, I'll also still move. I'll I'll move as well. I'll try to get people advantage. Nice. Nice. All right. Okay, I'm gonna uh, cut it. Yeah. I have a little self right here, forty feet away, with a dash. I see it. And I'm going to shoot the hellhound that is directly in front of me. Yes. The gun. Bang bang. Short bow. Bang. Oh. All right. And I can't like move again, right? Because I've had to dash. You can... So you already dashed, correct? Yeah, I dashed 40 feet out of 60 total. You still have 20 feet of movement. Yeah. I'm going to move over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Justin, also, you, you also get sneak attack if uh, one of us is within five feet of the enemy, not just on an advantage. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. All right. And is that all? Yes, that's my turn. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> All right. Talk is going to continue doing what he does. Being an attack helicopter. Oh, sorry. He's going to fly up. Or... <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry, I ruined your mommy. <laughs> He's not going to continue flying upward. 35 feet feels like he can't be touched. So he's going to take two longbow attacks at uh, Big Dude with the three heads. He's going to aim for the two outside heads. Damn. All right. Oh. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Oh, yes, uh, oh that's good. damn it. I forgot to do it this time, but all right, whatever. And as my bonus action, I'm going to cast uh, something. I'm not going to cast anything. I'm going to... Where is it? This one? Hang on, we're getting there. Oh, this one. Uh, for Cerberus, uh, I'm going to do, as a bonus, a bonus action, oh, he's not within 30 feet of me. Hang on. I'm going to descend. <laughs> I'm going to descend five feet, pass mm -hmm. it, do this, and then I'm going to ascend five more feet. <laughs> um... <laughs> So the next time I attack him, oh, can I can I use my? Hang on, can I can I use my because he's my he's a fiend. I'm is he a fiend? Uh, yes. All right. Can, can I recall from my my knowledge of fiends to know if he is immune to force damage? Um, Just check it. Yes, and you and you can. All um. Right. That's an, ad, ad, an advantage. <laughs> He's just saying shit. Because it's his favorite image. He does have advantage, actually. He, that actually does say that here. So. Yeah. Uh, we'll do checks to recall information about them. He's yeah. not immune to force damage. All right, cool. Then we're we're rolling with it. He's uh, I'm using my, my Horizon Walker thingy uh, to... Uh, Focus in on this guy so that next time I attack him, I deal some extra damage. Um, and, yeah, and that'll be Hawk's turn. Again, floating 35 feet in the air. <laughs> Thank you. I respect it. <laughs> um, let's see. It is now Severus's turn. Um, let's see. What to do, what to do. Mm. Um, uh, how high did you say you were flying, Tom? <laughs> 35 feet. Okay. 
That's does, enough. Doesn't um, the have a reach of 30, right? Isn't that how it works? What is <laughs> what do you say? Don't don't like huge like large, huge creatures also have a reach of sorry, 15, not 30. Ah. So he's 30 feet tall. Plus no, 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 he's 15 feet tall. 15 what? feet tall, you're right, you're right, 15. I can't, my brain's breaking on that. No, you're right, he's fine. Oh. Make him just jump a little bit, he'll be fine. Large <laughs> Damn. have a reach of... Ah. Ah. <laughs> All right, um, he's, he's, leaning up, he's leaning up at you talk, and he really didn't like that. Like, he just he just really didn't like it. And, um... Yeah. Oh god damn it. A fire right. <laughs> What's the range on that? The range yeah, is 30 hit. feet. That'll hit. Oh no. Um, I was afraid. Oh, gonna go higher, Brendan. Oh. Alright. You didn't get me yet. <laughs> oh, you hit me. What? I, I just I can see your HP, sorry. He's <laughs> 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 fine. He's fine. Black down. No. Um. <laughs> yeah. That was a tricky uh, barrier. And that is that is all. Um, Severus is going to do. And he does not look happy at all. Well, neither does talk. <laughs> <laughs> um. Sorry, Milo. It is your turn. A lot yeah. just happened. Um, as a bonus action, I will cast Healing Word, um, on top, of course. Woohoo! Thank you. Get five. I don't know if that'll do anything. Um, as my actual action, I'm going to do Toll of the Dead. Oh, Maybe yeah. Save. I shall. And that's on the big boy. Ooh. Nice. 2d12. Thank you, Milo. 2d12. 13. Oh. 13. That's pretty good for Milo. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, never mind. I realized I could have reduced tox damage as well with my little <laughs> ancestral <laughs> garden. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, I don't think you could have. You could yeah. Far away, wouldn't you? 60 feet. Oh, I thought it was 30. Oh, dang. Yeah. No, I got a little. Apparently, Leonidas, every time he rages, just has spirits flying all around him at all the entire time, which is a lot, really. But so, um, my little dryad guy is going to come over here. Um, mm. and he has the ability to cast, um, three times a day, good berry. Um, so oh, okay. I'm going to give him good berry, which is, um, 10 good berries. Okay. Um, and I believe that will be my action. Will you throw that in the chat for me? Yeah. Um, and that will be my dryad's turn. All right, no problem. Um, good berry is each berry you can eat and you gain one HP, right? Oh, wait, there it is. Yeah, mine. Oh, wow. So I gave um, a good berry to talk. He's 35 feet in the air. Yeah, he's flying. Oh, no. My dryad flies. That's wild. It was. All right. Does it, it fly? Weird. Right? I just always imagined it flying. I don't think dryads fly. It's and a tree spirit. It definitely right? doesn't fly. I don't know why you assume they fly. It's a tree spirit. <laughs> it's like a tree person. It is definitely a tree spirit, so I don't think trees fly. Let's Damn. Understand. Okay, this he's changes everything. Were you not there now. for the first campaign? <laughs> you think if they could fly, they would have gotten got? <laughs> well, in the books I, I they can can't leave a tree that they're like a part of so they never should have gotten kidnapped to begin with <laughs> christian as a bonus action can my dryad yes. um Why? attempt to <laughs> throw Why? a piece of berries at talk 35 feet in the air <laughs> yes he has to with berry who just got burned almost half to death that's no. not that far try it that's 10 yards you mean to tell me that this dryad is at least rough, Purdy. Come on. This is a blueberry. You got your blueberry. <laughs> I want, I want you to give me the best either athletics or acrobatics check you think you can give. If it's if it's a strength one, it has advantage because my shark is still up. Okay. Strength is fuck. Oh wow. Yeah, that happened. 
Wait, wait, no. Wait, not Alex? Alex? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, you try to throw it up and it just goes straight down. Oh. Um, maybe reaches seven feet, maybe. It's an advantage. Ten feet. Sorry. I tried. All right, I'm sorry. Eight feet. I appreciate it. Eight feet. Um, yeah, my guy's gonna... He, he's gonna look up and be like, damn, I tried. <laughs> anyway, that'll be a whole turn, apparently, because they can't fly, which is just news to me. Ugh. I think it was okay, a very... Um, Talia, it is now your turn. Can't believe that. It was awesome. <laughs> You're just hoping for some dandy magic right there. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. And I'm gonna use my a bardic inspiration to yeah. do psychic blades. Oh. All right. Damn. Oh. Roll that rapier damage, please. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's it. Ida. Oh no. Um. How is uh, Cerberus looking? Insight check for me, please. Uh, seven plus uh, what is that? Nine. Um, sixteen. You've never seen him before, but you would imagine he's had better days. <laughs> okay, but he doesn't look like <clears throat> close to being done. Um. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. On the left head, one of the eyes is bleeding. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and cast Moonbeam on it. Oh yeah. Nice. Um, and I it's all about yeah. that constitution. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, well he takes I'm trying to read the spell description. He takes six it's radiant tomorrow. damage. Isn't it when he starts his turn in it? Not when it does pass. Yeah, yes. it, it already popped up though. Um That's fair. both the damage and the roll, so mm -hmm. we But yeah. Um and I'm gonna cast it right there. Um so he has a harder time like getting away if he tries. All right. I like it. Uh, oh. um, yeah, I'm going to go here and that'll be my turn. Mm. All right. Uh, it is now the Hellhound's turn. Hellhound is going to turn right here, and make a bite attack. Nice. Nice. That doesn't, doesn't hit. hit. All right. All right. Well, that is all they can do. Stick your tongue out at it. <laughs> Leo. Uh, yeah, hair is sticking just like straight up right now after being absolutely zapped last turn. Um... <laughs> Wait. Wait, is this every time? It's while you're raging, yeah. Oh, so once if I hit him, then for the until my next turn, it's disadvantage on everyone but me. That is correct. Oh, oops. Okay. Um I guess I don't think the Hellhound really bit anyone, so that's okay. But we're gonna no, not really. Ooh. Uh, at advantage on both because I'm across from Alias, so 17 and 25. All right, that, that hits. Um, <clears throat> 20 total piercing and disadvantage on all attacks against except against me because my little dudes okay. are playing about. Um, is that all? Yes. <laughs> All right. What are you going to do? I'm going to cast 
shocking grasp at advantage. Oh, and that is a nat 20. Ooh. Um, both of those, they I add one to both of them because those are both minimum. That's so it's eight. Oh, God. No, it's not quite minimum. Minimum would have been two and two. That's so gross. No, no it's oh yeah, that's true. But yeah. I add one to both of those. So it is eight damage. Oh my gosh. Um, that's so good. Colby, wow. What, are you, what did I do to you? You've been coming at me today, and I don't know what I did. I am trying my best. Wait, me? You're doing great, yes. buddy. You're not thoughts and berries, Colby. Come on. Oh, <laughs> I am trying my damnedest out here, okay? Milo's the furthest away from an enemy just throwing berries up. I appreciated the berry attempt. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, I'm um, still shocked you can't fly, you know. Is that everything? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Alex. Fuck him up, Alex. <laughs> okay. I am going to fuck him up. Okay. Oh, okay. Do it. So, uh, I'm going to cunning action my happy ass right here. <laughs> I love it. And I'm going, going to short bow Cerberus. Yeah. Oh, got him. And I'm going to sneak attack as well. Yeah. Because there's people within five feet. Yes, there is. Many. And then... All right. 19. 19. That's pretty good. That's that real good. Yeah. Noise. That was good. Oh, my God. All right. Talk, my good man. Um, <laughs> how you feeling up there? Yeah, not great. Um, but we're gonna keep, the, we're gonna keep doing what we've been doing. Um, yeah, I could heal myself, but uh, caution to the wind. I want to kill this thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna yell for Hermes, and he's gonna let loose two longbow attacks. Remember. The next attack gets plus 1d8 force, well, and it becomes all force damage. Yep. Mm -hmm. right. Nice. All double. Damn. Oh. 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 Okay. Gosh, dang. Oh, and then the force damage. <laughs> <laughs> we did. That was pretty good, though. That was also, <laughs> that was so awesome. <laughs> and he's going to move 25 feet this way. And he's going to make you do the math on the Pythagorean theorem if you want to <laughs> attack him over there. worth <laughs> Show your work, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be his turn. The way his hand just did this makes me think he's plotting. <laughs> All right. Um, he takes the six radiant because of moonbeam. Yes, he'll he'll take his six. Thank you. Um, Leo, will you give me an insight check? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Um. He's doing very well. Um, he's he's not looking. Yeah, he looks fine. He's looking good. He's looking good. Um, glad you had that insight. Cheveris is going to Let's see. I'm trying to remember. Uh, where did he? Sorry. Yeah. Um, Severus is going to move oh. past, welcoming any uh, attacks of opportunity. Alias, get him. <laughs> we'll just get it. Oh, and also, one second. Does a war, or which one is it? Do you not have any attacks of opportunity? Oh. I can cast spells as a uh, opportunity attack, so I'm going to do Shocking Grasp again. Nice. Nice. Oh, nice. There we go. Man. Now Damn. I got a max on one of them, so yeah, that did more than my nat 20. Uh. <laughs> I see yeah. you, Warcaster. Yeah, gave him a nice little shot as he ran away. 
Thank you. Uh, Leo, any or oh, in the dryad? He, he ate Tristan. Are you standing <laughs> over Alex right now? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pushing Alex out of the way. That's fair. Yeah, that seems fair. And a five. Five um, for the dryad. Let's go, Leo. <laughs> Ooh, 18 for another 10 piercing. All right. Oh, what is this, by the way? It looks like an accidental uh, movie. No, okay. no, no, no. That was that's where my uh, shark spirit is. Everyone within 30 feet gets it uh, gets uh, advantage on strength checks and saving throws. Cool. Uh, I just the didn't dog. do anything. It does look like you're about to get messed up. I did actually do Told the Dead on it. Now that I think about it. <laughs> it's off, but it's turning. I'm trying to make it turn. <clears throat> so it's running away like a little bitch. And actually it's moving back to... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, um... Uh, let's see. And it is going to do... Fire ray. Right oh. here. I'm gonna silver your barbs that. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, no, that was the right choice. <laughs> it doesn't matter if he still hits again, as long as he doesn't get a net 20. There we Colby. go. Colby, you used your reaction just now to take an attack of opportunity on him. Oh, you did. Mm. Oh. Like is, is fire no, ray arranged? Know. Because Milo's within five feet, so maybe it's disadvantage? Um, I think he's blasting oh. Ida also. No, but I I haven't taken my reaction yet um, as Milo, so I can half that damage. Oh. 24. Uh, 48 on who? Yeah, on yeah. who? Milo. Yeah. On Kaida? Yeah, I was like, you pointed at Kaida as why. Well. Oh. So you only take 24. Oh, thank God. I. Oh my God. <laughs> you would have been full dead, probably. <laughs> No, I'm oh. because literally because yeah, Milo has saved my ass three times this fight. Yeah. <laughs> shout out Milo. You're a good cleric. Yeah, shout out Milo. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I'm not dead. <laughs> <laughs> and that's its turn. Oh, oh wait, take two d six off as well. Wait. Oh what? fuck yeah. Because of my little spirit yeah. guardians. Take oh, another two off. Wait, I you were gonna go that far out of your way to stop me from silvery barbsing it while not paying attention to your own character. <laughs> Eight. Do what you could have done. Uh, no, that's all I could do is take two d six off something. You took two. Oh wait. Also, I can't. No, yeah, I can do that. Wait, do I need a reaction? I might not be able to do that. <laughs> Kid's such a charge. Find out. Let me know. <laughs> no, I can't do that. I also oh, can't. I love my reaction as well. Take the two damage away again. No, no, no. <laughs> I no. I got an eight. So I I'm taking the eight back, but still. Good. Oh, okay. you rolled it. Okay. I'm, oh my God. I'm fucked up. I'm not doing well. It's okay. Milo's next. Milo is next. It is your turn. Okay. Well, first of all, I can't go help as much as I want to, which is unfortunate. Um, you can I go over there and help him. Yeah, but I don't want to get bitten. You know, that doesn't seem like a fun time for me. But you can't. Oh, I could. I could. Don't get me wrong. But I'm going to go ahead and do Healing Word level 2 on Kaida for 9. Woo, thank you. And then I'm going to do Toll of the Dead again. Give me a Wisdom save. Alright. What? Oh. No, that wasn't for it. That wasn't for it. That rolled a uh, 1 for some reason. And it's a 2d12. Okay, so it passed. Okay, that's my turn. All right. Yay. Uh, Talia. Moonbeam. Oh wait, wait. Is, Moonbeam. It's is my uh, dryad's turn. Oh, my bad. <laughs> um, my dryad is. Can I scoop up the the berry? That's fine. <laughs> um, it didn't go far. And then I'm going to take the berries <laughs> over here and give them to Kaida. And that'll be my whole turn. Just All right. <laughs> berries. 
I'll give. I know you have tender berries. Thank you. <laughs> it's an insane thing. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do my right here, here. Sweet. And I'm doing a party. Don't even have to. It's it's gone. <laughs> nice. Sweet. Good job. I'm sorry, I know that's not satisfying, but it's gone. It's satisfying. Yeah, it is. I'm I'm not planning. Right. <laughs> uh Kaida. Or is there anything else you would like to do? Well, well, all right. I'm just like, oh, <laughs> right. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, Kaida. Uh, so I I rolled a con save for the moonbeam, and I rolled a four, so it's gone. Um, All right. I'm going to throw another knife at Cerberus. All right. Don't forget you have good berries in your hands now. It takes an action to eat one. Um, it does. So, Which is crazy. What? It's yeah. an out-of-fight yeah, yeah. thing. It's not a good in-fight spell. Oh, no. You can also, it's helpful because if someone goes down, you can shove a berry down their throat and they're back with one. Interesting. But, I'm, yeah. not, I'm learning a lot today. Does a 19 <laughs> hit? Yes, it does. Okay, this is at third level. I'm expending that. All right. Uh, so 20 damage total. Uh, or, okay. Wait, it needs to make a save, a deck save. Uh-huh. Okay, cool. Uh, so, <laughs> what is that? 13? Uh, it's 13 plus 3, because I think yeah. it takes half from cold, right? Yeah. Let's find out. Oh, nope, it's only the piercing damage. Alright. So it is mm. 13. Yeah. Um... I'm also going to move away. <laughs> and that's my turn. The the thingy for the cheat? The Ethan's cheat so far? They put Rover on their page. All right. Uh, Leo. Yeah, I'm going to sprint over here. I get I get advantage here, right? Yeah, yeah. Milo? No, you yeah. <laughs> Okay. And we're gonna do two rage rape beer attacks at advantage. Seventeen nine hits. Or the nine what? hits? No, no. Sorry. Oh, there was a nine. No, I meant. Oh, the nine, nine damage. damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the seventeen hits the nine damage. I was like, the nine hits? Weird. Wow. Okay, this is not hard to hit. Um, uh, the nine piercing damage, and that was that was. Oh, and um, he has disadvantage in all attacks. Oh. He would have had a disadvantage on that attack against Kaida too, so it wouldn't have been that twenty. I think it was a nat one was actually the other. It one. was a nat one. So, yeah. We're uh, You're so good at your game. We're doing our. <laughs> the, 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 Can I have that twenty four health tank? The <laughs> worst <laughs> Damn it! I'm playing oh, Christian right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Now is that the two D six? Yeah, that's it. I took the two D six, but not the big one actually. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? Uh, top, will you give me an insight check real quick? Ah, uh, at advantage because it's a fiend. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Seventeen. This fiend is fiending for some rest and relaxation. Ah, it's not feeling too hot. <laughs> uh, I will relay that message with my reaction to the party. All right, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's scribbled by me? No, I put the black smoke from earlier when the, the hellhound disappeared into a yeah. black, black, yeah. black smoke. Yeah, black smoke. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, what would you like to do? Alias's turn, right? Yes, alias. All right. Yes. Let's. Hmm. I can't roll save my life. I think we're, we're just going to do. The multiple books. Or can I actually. 
Oh, I can actually get there, and I will get advantage from our good little rogi friend, right? I'm with it. All right, mm -hmm. and I will do my little shocky grasp again. At advantage, 19. 19. Oh, uh, 15. Yo, one short of max. Let's go. All right. Is there anything else? Uh, no, that'll be it. Alex, your turn. Okay, so I want to be a real trash bag. Yeah. <laughs> I want to acrobatics onto the top of this thing's back to attack. Right. <laughs> uh, go ahead and give me a uh, acrobatic check. All right. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm then going to attack with my dagger of venom. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> will you just will you just roll me a him. Him. <laughs> <laughs> will you just roll me a um a one d ten for me just real quick throw the dagger <laughs> away. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, uh, you, you're on this thing. You go to, you go to, uh, stab it, and one of its heads turns and looks at you, like out of a horror movie almost. It just turns and looks at you, and you kind of get spooked, and you drop your dagger, and you slip and fall off Severus. You're fine, but you slip and fall off. <laughs> Okay. And uh, that is your turn. Talk. Well, wait. No, that is I definitely. Can I have cut now? <laughs> oh, yes, you do. Go ahead. Go ahead. I forgot you have that. You was doing a whole lot of shit, but I forgot you have that. I'm going to run over here. <laughs> I, I would too. Because uh, somebody's going to be mad that I jumped on their yeah, back. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, talk. It is your turn, friend. Yeah, we're wow. doing it. I'm aiming both arrows for the inside head this time. Oh yeah. Oof. Well, 17. does not hit, but a seventeen does. Talk hits one d four as bless. Ooh. All right. Thank you. I forgot about that. Ooh, All 16. right. So sixteen does hit. Nice. Let's go. Thank you, Milo. Saving the day. And how would you like to kill Severus? Let's go! Right between the eyes. Right between the eyes and the middle head. Right where I called it. <laughs> right where you called it? Yeah, I called Man, it. Man, I would look really cool killing this thing. <laughs> <laughs> he turns into... Dick. Black smoke. Damn. Nice. And you are out of initiative. Let's go, go team. team. You uh, too. Kaida's going to choke down 10 berries. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, great job, guys. Thank you. Nice good job. I was a little um, worried, not gonna lie. I was looking smoky for y'all for a second. <laughs> if anyone needs it, I could do a group prayer of healing and get us all back um, to... All at once, though, as soon as you guys, he disappears into smoke, kind of, like, shoves berries in her mouth, and then the whole room starts shrinking. You see the wall across from you just coming really, really quick at you, and right when it goes through you, you find yourself on a dirt path looking into the distance, and let's take five right here, actually. Oh, all right. Wow. Okay. Arrows. okay. Yep, let's go ahead and collect the arrows. <laughs> Uh, how many did you shoot? I shot eight of them, but if, if I'm somewhere else right now, then I'm guessing I probably can't pick them up. But maybe. <laughs> just roll me. Just roll me four one d tens. Just four. I would just like to say I did the most damage that fight, but mainly because I I uh, got thirty off of Leonidas. <laughs> 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 I'm assuming mine is half since I shot half. She gave it back to me to read. Oh, do I get? Oh, yeah, you get. Do, do I get? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you got them all. Oh. All right. I got a pee. It is because she told me one thing. It's because I didn't use the template she gave me, so I ended up wasting my name. 
Because I didn't know we had to. <laughs> Ooh, I was pissed when I saw that. Oh, no, I just copy and paste it. Fuck like that. <laughs> it's my work. <laughs> Yeah, just like the line the way she wants. Mm-hmm. Play on the green. I'm sure if you ever want to pull my bow shell. I'm going to pull it all over. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
Me and Pete, we would still be in the gymnasium right now. <laughs> You're keeping us focused and moving. Man, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was nervous for a second. At the beginning of the fight, if you would, if that fire breath had recharged a bunch, a couple oh. more times, they would have been done for. A little bit. The star breath been. didn't recharge until it was too late. That was crazy. Because Cerberus was a bitch. Cerberus <laughs> was a bitch a little bit, right? Definitely. Obviously. <laughs> Tristan, I so wanted you to get that kill. When he like oh, was on top cool, and then you dude. rolled the dice, I was like, oh, it's going to be so good. But the two eights, that was, that was just painful. Two nat ones. Two natural really ones. ones. That's tough, man. I'm sorry. I wanted you to get it. I really did. Like, with almost any other role, there's a chance something could help you get it. But the two net ones? Mm -hmm. I like that Christian was thinking about breaking your new magic uh, knife, too. That makes me happy. Oh, my gosh. I've been fine with it. I don't use it. You're trying. You've been trying to use it. I saw Colby a second ago, and now I don't see him. Oh, I heard. Oh, I forgot cool. my. Okay, I have camera. Camera. I thought it was still on. Here in a second, but we can. We can. Start. Oh, we can wait. We're not. We're good. We're really good on time. Really good. Yeah, we're good. We we're aimed good. for this. We're, we're, we're Bria. I told. Did you hear me telling Christian? Uh, oh. we we planned. We figured that fight would take half of the session, and we were like right on it. I said if it was you and me doing this, we'd still be in the gymnasium right now. For sure. Yeah, 100%. You guys want to see my notes for last session? No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I nice. Wrote, okay. <laughs> I yeah, I also wrote blessed. Blessed. <laughs> Am I right? Don't forget your blessed. How long does the blessed last? Like an hour, right? Yeah. Nice. I don't know. That was, that was last session. Now I forgot to update my. I'll write blessed again on here. Okay, good. You got to add blessed back in. Well, I probably say during next week. Surgery. I also wrote Chill of Death, Depths of Dream, yeah. and Boundless Void. Oh, fuck no. It's kind of dark. <laughs> Boundless Void. I'm going to sleep dead. I'm going to die. All right. We're good. What's that? Right. We're, we're good. She's back. Oh, perfect. All right. You, um, seven, I want to say. Find yourselves on a, a dirt road, and can I have a perception check from anyone that wants to? Yeah, I do. And I Christian, can you do one for Leo as well? Someone else, please do it as well. Okay. Four, alias, nice start. 14. I like it. 14, 19, talk, talk, feeling himself. Alex, still kind of uh, a little hurt after falling off of a 15 foot dog. Yes. Question. Okay. What's up? Is. <laughs> Does this seem like the desert and or the coast? <laughs> That's a great question. That was a really good question. It feels like, uh, honestly. Um, straight in front of you, and it's hard to see, but about uh, talk with his extremely keen eyes, and uh, he's still floating 35 feet in the air right now because he hasn't come down. I came down. I came down. Okay, yeah. Well, you yeah, I mean. see uh, ahead of you, about a mile ahead of you, a... Um, what seems to be a large palace with a giant black stone wall in front of it. Interesting. How far ahead of us? About a mile straight up this road. There's literally nothing. Like it's just fields on each side of you. Besides that. All right. Can I scan the area for anything that seems fiendish? Yeah, give me a, a fiend check. <laughs> <laughs> they're everywhere you crushed it yeah um in this general area you kind of see like souls genuinely just kind of like wandering around but not very many of them honestly it seems like kind of dead right now <laughs> anyone oh, thank you thank you uh, you know you're in hell right 
Yeah, you're in. I don't, yeah. I don't know what's going on. I'm just Checking. like anything particularly undead or fiendish that seems like they yeah, there, hurt there's them. a couple souls floating around, but genuinely it seems kind of empty. And can I have an insight check from everyone as as talk is kind of pointing out what he sees? Oh, oh. 26. That 20, oh, 22. Million. Nice, yeah. Um, let me see. Okay, Alias, Milo, Alex, and Kaida, and, and Talia. Leo and everyone except Leo and talk, frankly. Um, <laughs> you guys, you feel like normally, um, just from the stories you've heard, you kind of figured there would just be souls everywhere um, going about their daily lives and stuff. You kind of felt like there would be more in this, in just everywhere. And there's just not a lot right here for whatever reason. Hmm. Um, also, because of that Nat 20 alias, uh, if you weren't certain, that's definitely Hades' palace up a mile oh, up the road from shit. If you oh. weren't certain. Guys, that is Haley, Hades' palace. I have never been sh more sure of anything in my life. What? <laughs> a giant does palace like in hell belongs to Hades? There's like it's, a big I, neon sign. I, I know, right? <laughs> Do we still have the temporary hit points? Uh, yes. Oh. Everyone who didn't lose them in the fight should still have them. Yep. I believe it's till you lose them or a long rest. Yes. Um, I think we need to go fuck shit up in, in there. I agree. Um, should we take a short rest before we do that? I would love a short rest. Oh, uh, that sounds pretty nice to me. <laughs> yes. This place looks safe for a short rest. Uh, give me an insight check. So there's not a lot of souls. I did just check if the if the fiends or undead looked bad. Yeah, you didn't see any fiends that looked angry or violent. It it seems like you could definitely short rest here. It doesn't feel like that you're gonna feel the most comfortable. Everyone just kind of has this uneasy feeling in their stomach, especially Albaron. It seems to be right here. Yeah, but you think you could probably make a short rest here. All right, everyone, short rest time. Hell yeah. Um, Alex, wait. Oh, you're gonna sing? Do it. Let's see it. The singing. What? Yeah. Yep. Why right. would you sing? Um, Alex, can I have a uh, perception check while you guys rest? <laughs> what did you say? You sorry, sorry what did you say, um, uh, Talia? Oh, no. She was singing Little John. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Thank you, Alex. I don't like that. I don't like it one bit. An hour right. passes and nothing eventful happens. Um, if anything, there's less souls about than you had before, so everyone can roll their short rests as many hit dice uh, as you want up to the point you have. Oh, plus add week. everyone add a, a d or yeah one d six uh, as well extra hit points. Oh, I, don't, I don't know how this works. Yes. Five video. You can't go above your normal HP. Okay. You know, that's in addition to any hit dice you roll. <laughs> Um, and then, uh, Leo, if you want to do that, feel free to. Right. You did get that. spells back. No. I don't think anyone gets spells back at short rest unless you have a, um, like, ability that allows that. Yeah, yeah I have a wizard ability, but I believe I used it last session. Mm -hmm. uh, druids have a uh, wild recovery, too, but I also use that. Um, that was scratchy. It's fine. She just hit the thing. Um, that's fair. Is and yeah, after that short rest, an hour passes. Um, well, wait, um, I hit short rest, rest and about happened. hell. No, 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 What's that, Alex? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. I hit short rest and nothing happened. Uh, roll hit dice. Uh, in it, whatever you roll and hit dice. He doesn't have any HP. To regain. Oh, okay, then nothing matters. Then, if you don't have any HP to regain, then you won't get anything else. Okay, cool. Sorry. Um, but you do keep your hit points. <laughs> Get my spirit totem back too. Um. Okay, and with that, you see this road in front of you going to what Alias has pointed out to be a hundred percent sure is Hades Palace. <clears throat> I guess should we, should we knock on the door or like I don't know. Are you guys heading that way? Uh, if I guess, uh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. So. <laughs> and I'm gonna try and be leading the way. Oh, um, Milo is taking the lead, you guys. I have to go save him. Um, <laughs> Milo trudging along takes you guys up this dirt road, and you trudge and you trudge for a solid like 13, 14 minutes, I suppose. 
Um, until what you see kind of, you're about, let's say, 300 feet out from this wall, right? So about a football field away. Um, can I have another round of perception check? Ooh, 11. Oh, nice. Hawk <clears throat> really taking the lead on yeah. this again. That's what I got, perception. Huh? No, okay, I can you bag of tricks and toss out an animal for companionship. You can definitely throw an animal. What do you want to throw? Oh, I need a D. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a bear. A bear. Three. A three. Which is? Oh, I'm so sorry. It's a baboon. <laughs> it's a baboon? <laughs> oh, yeah. rocks. I think baboons are actually, like, decent in this game. Can you tell us about the baboon? Oh, okay. Um... It's hard to see anything but its ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. Such is life, I suppose. Oh, baboons yeah. are not great. They have three no, points. Horrible. I'm going to reach in the bag one more time. Okay, so you pull out a baboon and something different. Oh, I got another baboon. <laughs> <laughs> he has a friend. Okay, so I've just got my snake on my shoulders and then uh, two baboons walking next to me. Sit. I'd like to give each one of the baboons one ration. Most <laughs> <laughs> feeding the baboons. Um, you guys make it a, a, about a half a football field away from the uh, wall and talk. You see a couple things. Um, and alias, you see that the wall is crazy tall. It's like three, four stories tall, just straight jutting up above you. And uh, you can't, can't really see a clear entrance, even though the, the path seems to lead here. The path seems to continue left. Um, however, to the right top, you see this, you see a grove of trees um, that appear to be some type of fruit trees. Hmm. He said the path seems to continue left, like going around the wall. Yeah, the, no path seems to lead to a door. You don't see a door on this side of the wall that you're on at all. The path continues left, and to the right, you see a grove of trees with a smaller dirt path that leads to that. And they're fruit trees? Should I they are fruit it? trees. They are fruit trees. Mm. What kind of fruit are they apples? Are they probably yes, yeah. pomegranate. Wait, yeah. Guys, baboons Pop. love fruit. And if it's poisonous fruit, then... <laughs> if y'all know Greek mythology, those baboons are going to be here forever. That's fine. <laughs> but it can get a fruit for us. Like, investigate. No, are, I need to know, are they pomegranates? No. You guys are like a like football field away from this grove of trees. So you have no clue. I'm down to go check out the trees if you guys are. Yeah, I have resistance to poison and disease as well, um, so that could be helpful. I feel like Perfect. notable trees. I, or <laughs> we should all know the Greek myths, and we should know that Persephone only married Hades because she ate pomegranates from the underworld and then was forced to live in the underworld. Hey, Damn. I, mean, Hades I don't want to do this anymore. Cool. So a Alias is telling you guys Greek mythology that you definitely should already know as you guys walk <laughs> through this grove of trees. <laughs> It's canon that Talk was a horrible student, like 100%. <laughs> I love that. Except when it came to Fiend class, he learned a lot about server. <laughs> well, fiends. <laughs> um, but as you guys get close to this set of trees, um, you start walking up and you see fruit trees of every kind. You see apple trees and orange trees. You see little lemon trees. Uh, um, different blackberry and raspberry bushes, and can I have a perception check from old Milo, because you're leading the way. Perception. In the distance, you see a woman oh. and a younger-looking um, man at a tree, oh. picking fruit from it. Can I tell who it is? Yeah, a 19 perception, you recognize the back of the head as uh, wearing a beanie, and it gives you an idea of who that might be. Um, yeah. I'm embarrassed, but what's his name? Oh. <laughs> Orion. Oh, right. I scream, and I'm going to start sprinting. Um, yeah, as you, you're sprinting up, and um, a woman steps in front of Orion, and she says, Shh. You're going to need to be more quiet. 
or my uncle will hear you. Mm. And I'll continue running. Persephone? Yes. Talk is doing um, yeah, uh, Orion, what do you do as, uh, as Milo is sprinting at you? Uh, I, I imagine he's he's already like really sickly pale, like incel pale. Um, yeah. And I, I imagine what little color he has in his face just disappears as he's like completely shocked to see Milo and everyone. Oh, can I tackle him? Yeah, one hundred percent. It's easy to tackle him, actually. <laughs> I, him. Hey. I miss you. What are you doing here? We traveled to hell to get you back. Why? I was against it, for the record. <laughs> <laughs> because you. Yeah, you, uh, you've got to want to come back up. You couldn't have been down here from your own volition. You got to go back up. Let's go. Everything's fine now, guys. I can stop crying. <laughs> Who is Orion with? Um, Orion is with uh, Persephone. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna look up at Persephone like with a confused look on my face. Who are you? And she is and Hades' wife and niece. So do I just yeah, uh, there's some gray area there for yeah. sure. Uh, but do you for, want to come up too? Uh, it doesn't work that way. But uh, I am Persephone. It's nice to meet you, brother. We share the same mom. Mm. That that's weird for you. That's but <laughs> no, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> fine. Um, um, good to meet you too. It's, it's wonderful to meet you. Would you like to introduce your friends? Um, um, well, this is Orion. He's also my brother. Yes, Orion's lived here for, you know, a short time now, and I've seen him on holidays, but... Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Um, is that what you do? Oh, okay. And then I'm going to go down the line with Kaida and Talia and Al- Eli- Elias, Eli- Elias, Elias, um, Leonidas, Todd, no, no. and Alex. <laughs> but I'm just going to rush through them like I did. Yeah, you guys... Um... I'm Milo. Yes, Milo. Um, Orion has mentioned you before. Um, <gasps> Did he say good things about me? No. Um, but <laughs> Talk is going to run up and, and run his run his fingers through his hair. Talk huh? at your service. Uh, I'm going to stick my blackwood staff gonna... out at Talk's face and just kind of usher him back a little bit. <laughs> uh, it's, it's nice to meet each of you. You look uh, weary. Um, I imagine the travels through hell are not the easiest. Uh, here, um... I'll rest in my um, in my grove here. Um, you'll yes. notice that uh, rest time seems to move a bit quicker while you're in here. Yeah. And you guys will all notice the effects of a long rest um, happen just oh. as you're sitting in this in this <laughs> grove of trees. Shit. Um, I imagine, um, as, as I'm sure you do too, that um, my uh, uncle won't take too kindly to you. Uh, being here um the way you came in and looking for his son to try to steal him out of here i'm not trying to steal him he's not supposed to be down here <laughs> i think you might be a bit off about that orion uh milo i i i traded spaces with you what do you mean i i made a deal with hades why because you don't belong down here, and I want to be here. But you also don't belong down here. But I want to be here. I want to. Mm. I want to work with my dad. It's just you always said you didn't, though, and it doesn't seem like this is really your style. I I never I never said it to you. <laughs> um, I didn't say much to you if you remember. Um. Yeah. <laughs> But it's okay, because I came down here to rescue you, so we can just go back up now. I I appreciate the sentiment, but I don't... I'm happy down here. Yeah. But you're in hell. I, I promise you it was much more of a hell up there than it was down than it is down here. Um, it, Milo, how about this? <laughs> and she will um, kind of pull a pomegranate, looking at you, Alias, but... Um, from a tree, and she rips off a half of it and hands it to you, and this small, it's like a sliver of it, has ten berries in it. Um, the trees I've grown here are a bit different than the ones that kept me here, so um, each of these berries will um, 
heal when needed. And uh, each of the ten berries works effectively as a 1d8 um, healing potion. So she hands you a, a pomegranate sliver with ten berries on it. And then she says, and, uh, Talk, you seem like a, a fan of, uh, figs? You, would you like a fig? Yeah. <laughs> sure, I love figs. <laughs> and she will pull a fig off another tree and toss it to you and say, uh, keep this with you. While you're in hell, um, this can stave off death that may come sooner than you might expect. I didn't understand it at all. Neat. But it was cool. Yeah, it was cool. Thank you. Yes, of course. And since you're all here, why don't you uh, help me pick some of the fruit? Uh, Orion, back to work now. Just because this is your break from helping your father doesn't mean you get a full break. <laughs> what does he do from here? Um, Milo, can I have a um, perception check? Huh? Uh, 20. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, you, uh, as soon as you ask that, um, you don't notice it at first, but everyone else sees a form, a being, suddenly behind, um, uh, Milo. And Christian, can you explain to them what they see? Mm. This is actually what you see. Oh, oh. she big. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello. Ladies. You know who I am. Who? It's like a family reunion. Um, why the fuck you in my environment? Are you Hades? Am I Hades? Insolent. Am I Hades? Who, who? Wait. How, how do you get past me, fuck? Uh. Me dog. Woof, woof. How you get past? Oh, uh, we gave him a bone. He's fine. Don't think about it too much. But um, we're actually here to get Orion. Um, if that's cool with you, we're just gonna take him back. Um, he's still alive, Ooh. I believe. Oh, and oh, I, oh like I know him. he's fine. I, I would like him back up there. Um, our dad is really gonna. Mom is really gonna miss us. Oh, I know he's fine. He's right here. I mean, he's a baby, but you know, it's, it's whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna grab his hand. Um, but we have to go back up. So, oh, where do you think you're going? I've been very clear about that. <laughs> so, mm. you, you come here for me seed. I, I, I what? <laughs> my seed. Um, I didn't come here for the berries, but I no, got the berries. My um, seed. I'm here for Orion. Here for Orion, my seed. No, I know. We, we got it the first time. We were just uncomfortable. Ooh. Ah, right. so let, let, let me get this straight. Um, wait, did you bring tribute? Uh, uh yeah. I have 20 copper you can have. Uh, Does that help? Hawk is going to hold out the Mountain Dew. Which <laughs> <laughs> he did, for the I record, have... take a sip out of. <laughs> and I will also hold out Doritos. First, you sneak into my domain. Try to steal away me seed that I rightfully have in exchange for someone's death. And he looks directly at Milo. Mr. Hades, or, I'm and sorry. But, and then, um, yeah, disrespect me by not bringing me wait, my right I'm going to roll an insight check to see what tribute he wants. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so Mi good. Mr. Hades, I'm, I'm just, just Mr. Hades. real quick. Hades I'm very, fine. Mr. For, the, for, for the record, I'm, I'm very, I'm very okay with with Orion staying down here with you. But yeah, I, sir, I, I think, I think you might want to get a paternity test. <laughs> I'm just. Do you see him? <laughs> Uh, do you do you think you're funny? You think you're a comedian of some sort? Oh uh, no no no! Is this I, not my seed? Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna forgery kit a paternity <laughs> test. <for you>. <laughs> <laughs> it does not make any sense, person. <laughs> what are you forging into a paternity test? Um. Also, quick question: Did did Cerberus just just pop up next to him? Yes. Yes. Okay. Definitely. 
I'm gonna Pop take a picture out of uh, <laughs> my, my leather notebook and make paternity tests out of it. Um, he's gonna he's gonna make Severus just disappear. Yeah, makes him disappear. Um, <clears throat> look, if it were anyone else, I might let you have him. However, this one here, and he's pointing directly at Orion, and he kind of goes over to him and he puts like his hands on his shoulder like it's his dad but it's still kind of like this insane power dynamic like it's very scary creepy all at the same time this one here is instrumental in this project i hate to say without him we would not be as nearly as far as we are now if i had half a mind I would blow you out to smithereens right here. But that's not helpful to me right now. Thank you. I I'm going to go that? to Orion and hug him. But he's my brother, and I love him. My little kid. My little kid. See, I, I have this problem, you see. Um... One of my wife's, um, Persephone's suitors, <laughs> stole my helm, and I need it back. And you are going to find it for me. Now, I would go down there myself, but my aura is strong, and, you know, they would hide. You know what I'm saying. Well, actually, no. I, I don't feel shit coming from you. Um... Now I don't know the I don't know the exact location. Oh my god, that's British. <laughs> that's, <laughs> I don't know the exact location, but and he stops. He stops and his eyes sort of roll in the back of his head a little bit. Um he was wearing this really nice Armani suit, like really nice stitched down to the T. Armani suit, kind of grayish black a little bit, you know, for the style points. Um, but you see it sort of fade and turn into armor of some sort. And out pops this dude. Oh, shit. Mm. He looks more evil. <laughs> would would y'all give me an insight check real quick? Is he a fiend? <laughs> is he undead? He's not. He's a god. Oh, so. this, this is perfect. Um, so you know how start speaking Latin. <laughs> you know how goosebumps. Um, how like the feel of goosebumps is like. It's not really scary. It's kind of funny, scary. Like you'll still die, but like in a funny way, almost. <laughs> um, this is more like Insidious had a baby with paranormal activity, but also cheated on it with it. The original. Oh um, I'm not into it. It's very, very terrifying. You feel the hairs on your arms stand up, and everything in you is telling you to move away as fast as possible. I am. <laughs> um, and, and he's and he's it's like um what uh what am I doing here? Who who are you? And he's looking at all of you at the same time. Not Hades. Hades is gone. Do you dare? Not recognize a god? Hmm. Uh, Milo is just telling you an interesting oh. story. I know. I, I, will, I will put my hand up. I'll go, um, Lord, Lord Pluto. Um, we were here because we were summoned. And uh, we were here just to fetch this one who had been bothering you. And we will take him away. Ah, uh, I, I see. Hold on. You were talking to Hades. I know, because he's he's here. He's annoying as fuck. Yeah, um, yeah, we were. 
Yeah. Um, <sighs> unfortunately, he's telling me you can't go quite yet. And Pluto is going to... Mm. Mm. Uh, he is going to um, feet make a circle. Oh, that's a big, that's a big circle. It is a big circle. Uh, let's see. Twenty-five deck save. Yeah, he's oh, sorry. Good. One second. This should get everybody. You trying to kill us? Uh, a little bit too big. There you go. It's pretty close, actually. All right. And he's going to say, yeah, Hades says not to let y'all go anywhere. Um, He says, sorry, he's in here. He says, the guy you're looking for is in the fields of Asphodel. In the slums, you will find him. That's this. I gotta let you know. Uh, hopefully he's here when you get back because I'm not dealing with it at all. And if I see you again, I will kill you because he's telling me you didn't give any tribute. And <laughs> whew, lucky he's not me. So, um, yeah. Persephone can answer any questions you have. Right? That's your... Yeah, Persephone. Do do we make the deck saves? No. Okay. Well, I, I, heard, I heard the threat, though. I hear you. 57 yeah. damage? Yeah, In case y'all try to get cute. I will not. Um, no. At this point, um, Pluto just, like, dissipates, right? Right. And so does Orion with him. And the fire just kind of slowly starts to dissipate around you. And it's just you and Persephone left inside of her uh, field. So, I... Can I grab some fruit? I feel like we're going to need some... Uh, I mean, you can definitely take some fruit. Uh, I already gave your friends the ones that are going to do the most good. But, you know, sustenance is always nice, I suppose. So take whatever you want. I'm going to send my bad bags to go get some fruit. That's the little circles I put out there for you if you're curious. They'll start grabbing fruit and happy as a plan. I apologize. I already forgot. Did I get fruit? No, only Talk and Milo were specifically okay. giving fruit, but... Okay, this is a I got a hell fig. So, you did get a hell fig. So, um, I guess to summarize, is what my uh, dear uncle um, slash husband and then the other dude who just kind of started showing up lately and that's been a whole thing um, <laughs> said um, Cassius uh, got caught hanging out in my field a little bit um, and I'm gonna get... you tell him to get out of there yeah yeah I didn't though <laughs> now was kind of the issue um, and then when he was about to get you know uh, Real bad punished. He kind of got out of there and happened to steal Hades's helmet in that um, during that time. Now he's using it to evade detection. Um, uh, you know the whole invisibility abilities of that helmet all. Um, but if you guys go to the fields of Asphodel, it should be uh, fairly easy to get back, I suppose. Um, and No, um, okay. but it should be fine. Uh, but, you know, if you get the helm back, um, and if you're able to bring Theseus back as well, then maybe Hades might be a little more receptive to your whole Orion dilemma. But Orion is doing, kind of leading the wall project right now, so I doubt... He's building a wall? Oh, they're building tons of walls. <laughs> like, they're all already down here? They're, they're building walls around every section of hell. But like much bigger ones. Like they're really you see this wall? That was the first one. Now he's building even larger walls around each section of hell. The fields are where That's they're terrible. Well are the men for it? Why does he have <laughs> crazy? Also he said that I died, but I didn't die. Okay. Um, and all of a sudden kind of like apparates into the air, a pair of handcuffs just kind of fall lightly in front of um 
uh, Kaido. And, um, oh, I believe those are to bring Theseus back if you get the opportunity. Um, Hades has plans for him. Okay. Torture. It is torture. Rope. It is torture. You do have a rope. That could be helpful if you want to <laughs> climb. <laughs> he does flips, actually. Oh, it's cool. I'm, I'm happy for you that you do flips, I suppose. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Orion's kind of leading the uh, whole um, <clears throat> wall project right now. Um, so Hades can focus on other things. So you're gonna have to be pretty convincing. But a beaten up Theseus in the helm might be a good start. What was the other problem that they mentioned before we came here? That there was something else that we had to deal with. There what was a problem. They're not. I'm not asking perception. Oh, okay. It's like uh, it talks memory. There, that they talked about. Somebody mentioned that there was a problem before we came down here. I can't remember what it was. Yes, uh, uh it, it's related to the whole issue of why Hades just suddenly popped into Pluto form for a minute. Ah, okay. Um, Perfect. you weren't given very many details other than that. There's fights going on with the gods, especially amongst the Greeks and the Romans. Um. They also know that Apollo's in a lot of trouble if that helps with anything because of the whole, you know, last campaign thing. <laughs> All right. Hades is a dick to my dad, so uh, we should go get his helmet so that he's not, not as much of a dick to my dad, maybe. That feels <laughs> like a good thing to do if I have daddy issues. <laughs> talk. Sorry. Yeah. We don't have time to unpack all of that. We can we should get moving. <laughs> so like, are we leaving without the dead kid or uh, we're going to get someone else so then we can later get dead kid if I am understanding this correctly. Yeah, I kinda of felt like we didn't have much of an option to get dead kid. No, I feel like if we don't get dead kid, yeah. <laughs> we should we should get him. Uh yeah. So what if... we came all the way to hell for dead kid. Yeah. <laughs> it does have a name. <laughs> yeah, but once you figure out he's building a wall, you just less want to save him, right? <laughs> so Theseus is in. Wait, wait, the... I forgot. Ailey? Oh, go ahead. Theseus is in the slums of the fields of Asphodel? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And do we know which way that is? Yeah. And Persephone will point out in a direction. Well, wait, I think it's that way. Uh, you start walking, someone will help out, I'm sure. They're all evil and dead. But everyone here is not evil. Everyone ends up here when you die. Do I seem evil to you? Yeah. What about, like, yeah. the good place? Or is it all hell? Oh, the good place is Elysium. It's just on the other sides of Asphodel. Yeah, yeah why is... Oh, and which why is Asphodel? Is um, give me a persuasion check. Me? Yeah. Yeah, you're fairly persuasive. Um, rumor has it, and I shouldn't speak on rumors, and especially as Hades is always listening down here, but um, it seems he's convinced some of the souls that they don't have to build the wall just because Hades and Orion command it. Um, so it seems he's trying to uh, unionize the souls, and uh, it's not great in Hades' mind. Or I meant more in the sense of like the fields of Asphodel is more for like ordinary people. I figured yeah, Theseus yeah. would. He's there getting the souls to stop building the wall around Asphodel. There's currently a wall going up at Asphodel. Mm. Soul build the wall. The wall is currently being built in Asphodel. Theseus is stopping the wall being built by unionizing the souls. Or, or no, I get that, but like in in like Greek mythology, like you would get sorted by like in the in the hells. It yeah. feels as though we're kind of for like, not to be me, but like nobody's. It'd be kind of shocking yeah. if Theseus was there. How is he moving around hell? If, he's, if he's, he wasn't there originally. Yeah. He was in the hero's place. He then hung out with Persephone, stole the helm, currently in Asphodel. Okay. A boy, a freak. The boy, the boy might be a freak. It does Wait, kind of sound like that. No, that was Persephone's there. words there. <laughs> Any other questions or? No. 
So you said just start walking and somebody will help us? I don't know. Maybe. I'm, I haven't been to Asphodel personally. I kind of have to hang out by the palace and then in this little grove of trees. But I'm sure if you go that direction, and she kind of points back in the direction you came, it should be easy enough to find Asphodel, right? How hell, how large can hell really be? Really big. Oh. Well. <laughs> then I'd start walking because uh, the longer you're here, I imagine the less Hades is going to want to give you your uh, friend back. Okay. Let's keep going, guys. Good luck, y'all. This will be fun, right? Persephone says y'all. And then she (laughs) (laughs) disappeared. Black smoke. (laughs) That was the last thing. Um, So back the way we came? Does this look like a desert now? It just doesn't. (laughs) (laughs) I think I hear some water. Does that make this a coast? (laughs) <laughs> you guys did come across a river at one point, right? That makes it coastal. <laughs> All right, so the way I see it, we have two options. We can go and start wandering until somebody helps us find um, Theseus. Or, and hear me out on this, we can storm the castle. Uh, Pluto oh. literally can one-shot all of us at one time, <laughs> so... Yeah, that's a great only idea. Only if you're slow. We are. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fine. Fine. Have, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I hear think you. I'll do the other thing. Uh, like a hand apparates and hits talk in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> Onward. Talk will start uh, slowly walking. Oh. Who's this? Ooh. Is that Morgan Freeman? Yeah. <laughs> Does it say God? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the Christian God came to save us. Oh, <laughs> hey, Morgan Freeman was the Christian God in uh, Bruce Almighty. So, Back. wait, is this is this actually somebody coming to? Yeah. Okay. Hello? Hey, are you here to help us? Um, depends. Um, hi, my name is Alias. Um. Nice to meet you. How do we get to Asphodel? Um, ac- actually, it's oh. right. Oh, that's that's cool. Cool. What, what, what are you clicking on? <laughs> that that oh my so god! Long. What are you clicking yeah, what on? What did you do? That didn't post the photo. It's, it's fine. Oh, <laughs> you can't put a photo in the chat. But I love it. Huh. I did when I put water dog. <laughs> He's right. Um, he did put Water Dog in the chat. He did. <laughs> this one didn't um, go through. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um. Yeah, I. It's right over here. Actually, um, I. I guess I could lead you. Um, yeah, that'd be awesome. Thank you so much. Um. Yeah. yeah. Who, Bob. Who are you? Bob. Nice oh. to meet you. Nice uh, to meet you. I'll shake his hand. Um. Well, let's see over here. My history majors, will y'all give me a history check? Ones who actually paid attention in class. Yeah, I'm not okay, gonna, I'm not, not going to roll. <laughs> Damn, Damn I, so. I mean, I have a search for knowledge, so. Damn. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just for shit. You. Those of you have probably heard the story of a Titan being subservient to Hades, and you are looking at Iopetus. Oh, it's oh. later in the series. Is he, wait, is he just as a janitor? Just as a janitor. Damn, they got janitors Iopetus. in hell. He is, yeah, yeah, he is, he is a Titan. So. Oh. Be wary. Okay. Okay. But his name's Bob. So. <laughs> nice to meet you, Bob. Are you gonna? You said you're gonna help us out. Is that right? Yeah, I'll I'll help. And he's gonna turn, and he's gonna walk. Uh, I guess we kind of have to follow him. Yeah. Yeah. He has a confidence about him that I like. You don't <laughs> have to if you don't want to. No, I'm with it. We got nowhere else to go. 
Sneak in. Sneak in. Sneak in the palace. Sneak in the palace, please. I'll just fly over the walls and then open the gate on the other side. <laughs> this would be a short campaign. <laughs> sure. All right. All right. Where are we going next? Uh, uh there's no map for it. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> that's my bad. No, it's fine. Um. All right. Uh, Bob oh. is taking you across. Um. <sighs> sorry. Right. Um. You're looking over, and you actually see like. You see houses, and they're not, mind you, they're not extravagant, but they're maybe a step up from huts. You see souls going in and out. Um, I would say doing their daily life as much as life they would have, um, you know, in hell, but it seems like they're just not even moving through purgatory. They're just going through the motions, basically. And you're just walking past, I mean... You see little rivers. You see, like, there's they're selling phantom food on the side. It's like they're trying to relive the life that they had up on Earth. And so, um, you're just uh, sorry. You're continuously walking. And what would you like to see? What would I like to see? I'm sorry. Um, what would you say? What would you like to do? Oh, this is Aspidel. So it's like a city in hell. Um, I'm gonna turn to Kaida and talk and kind of like the whole group and go. Should we just start going up to people and asking if um, they're the guy we need? We have to find the slums. We have to find why. Because that's where Theseus is. Don't okay. say his name out loud. What? You want to ask people where the slums are? Don't say his name out loud. Does, oh yeah. Does, <laughs> does Bob Bob? Where would the less savory characters of uh, Asphodel hang out? Oh. You don't want to go there, do you? <laughs> why? You know. Not particularly, if I'm being completely honest, but we're kind of in this situation just between you and me. Um, we kind of have to. Summer school extra credit. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> look. Yeah, we're we're the, we're helping out down there. Okay. Um, the slums are. The slums are down a ways. It's behind a wall. They're separated from the rest of us over here. Um, but I can take you to that wall, and then that is where I will leave you, because I'm not going down there. Okay. Sure. But you know, Bob, we really appreciate you. Thank you very much. Is there anything from here that you want? We can uh, get it while we're there. Uh, no, I, I have nothing to do with those people. So, no, I don't want anything from there. But I will take you. And hopefully this is not the last time that I see you. You've been a lively bunch, to say the least. Thank you. No pun intended, of course. Of course. Quick, quick question. What, what dangers do you see for us down there other than maybe some unsavory, uh, Undead people. Anything else? Are there any fiends? <laughs> <laughs> um, only the most unsavory creatures are allowed there. I mean, they weren't good enough to get tortured, well, bad enough to get tortured, but they were one step below that, or above it, I should say. So, um, I would say be prepared, um, have each other's backs, and at the end of the day, follow the light. Oh, that's and, my buddy uh, Alias here. Oh, son of Zeus. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> Lead the way. Um, oh, uh, one more thing. Um, 
he's making trouble down there, but Theseus, um, don't let your guard down because he has absolutely nothing left to lose. I mean, you heard his story, right? No, can you tell us? Killed a minotaur. I don't really know. Can you tell us? I love story time. Oh, my lady, you didn't hear about them. <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, well, there's a reason he's on the run. Um, he was tending to her garden, and he wasn't supposed to. His garden. <laughs> How big is I, your man's dick? Um, uh, I can't. You were like. Was... <laughs> he was tending to his guard, her garden, when he was not supposed to. That is why Hades is not happy. Oh, so he overpruned the trees, I guess, right? I, uh, you could say that. You could <laughs> say that. Um, so, like I said. He has absolutely nothing left to lose. Do not let his charm fool you. Okay. As it did, my lady. Yeah, his charm. <laughs> yeah, my love. <laughs> and uh, with that, after kind of wandering through these souls for a while, you see in front of you a massive stone wall. Um, and, like, when I say massive, you look up and it just keeps going. You cannot see the, the top of this wall. It just continues up and up and up in front of you. Can I have a perception check from everyone as they're looking around at the scene before them? Oh, ooh, 23. Dude, what the fuck? Why are you <laughs> <laughs> Refresh. Refresh. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, you rolled a 23, right? Uh, yes. Kind of? Yes. Um, everyone else is just staring, like, straight up, like, shit. Like, can talks fly over that and let us in somehow? Right? That's what's going through everyone's head. Talks already, like, starting to float up, I imagine. Um, <laughs> but what you see, Kaida, is you start looking around, you look down, and right at your feet is a door smaller even than a mouse would uh need to kind of like walk in and oh did that not move you to where i intended that to move you? no you see a door smaller even than a mouse might use to walk in and right in front of that door on a tiny rocking chair even smaller than the door sits an old man with a white beard who's about this tall i'm gonna okay. i'm gonna I don't know, like, crouch down. Hello? Oh, uh, hello. Uh, how's it going? Why are you so little? Why are you so big? There you go. That's, oh, that's good. Never thought of Got it you like there. That. Um, wh where does that door go? Oh, it's further into Asphodel. Not to the best part of Asphodel, but, you know, I suppose. Oh. People is, gotta go in there. Is it all really little there? Oh, no. Just this door is. <laughs> oh. Can my friends and I go in? Sure, if you want to. Uh, there is two problems. One, it's really small, and two, it's locked, but I can unlock it if you want. If you Maybe. could, yeah. Could you, like, shrink down, like, five of us? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, easily. You do have to answer a riddle for each of us, though. Deal. Oh, I'm not. I'm not good at riddles. No, we're really good at riddles. great at riddles. Can I trade you an oh, ice really? cube made of the river sticks? <laughs> um, no, no, you can answer a riddle though, because that's really all we really want to do. Who is we? Oh, and you just see his head turn completely 180 degrees, and there's just another bearded old man face there, and he goes, "We oh. can can we go back into big people after we're done being little?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once I shrink, you should wear off in like an hour tops, probably. If what if we Most can shrink, if we can shrink ourselves, do we have to answer the riddle? 
Yeah, the door's still locked, and the riddle thing is really the only thing making me unlock it. The shrinking oh. thing seems to be less of a problem for demigods, I've noticed. It's kind of weird. Oh. <laughs> I can unlock it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Alex, Alex, you, Alex leans down and takes his, like, thing, and it's, like, so much bigger than the door, and starts jamming at it, and Alex, can you roll me a 1d8 real quick? <laughs> Do it. Do it. Nice. As you kind of, you take your, like, uh, your little, like, uh, lock picking tool and put it in there, and as soon as you start jangling it around, you get blasted backwards for five force damage. Oh. <laughs> and you're gonna see Alex's body, like, comically lift off the ground and fly 15 feet backwards <laughs> from this tiny door, from the tiniest of doors. Was it the little guy? Oh, that another shot. Alex, get back on the horse. I think we should do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Um, so, riddles. Yeah. You do have another no. one if you don't want to answer the riddles. What? What's that? You could turn and make your way around this wall. It's a couple days' journey, and most of the force of Hades' army is waiting on the other side where they're planning to build the uh, next part of that wall. But if you prefer that one... No, thank you. But no, no. Really. Can we get the riddle, please? Riddle it is. Okay, so my riddle first, and the head t t turns back around to the first guy, and he stretches out, and he says, <clears throat> are you, oh, are you guys ready? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have a face for dawn, another for dusk. In realms of time, I'm a constant, not a husk. With every step, my gaze does change. Past and future I rearrange. What am I in moments unfurled? A mystery of time. A two-faced world. The dark I'm... side of the moon. No, no. <laughs> as soon as Alex says that, just blasted back 15, <laughs> 15 feet for another five force damage. <laughs> no. Oh, um, I think it's, uh, this is not an answer. Do not force me. I can read it again. I can say it once more, but only no, once yeah, more. Yeah, I got mad ADD. <laughs> <clears throat> so then you're ready for me to say it again? Sure. Um, and, and don't give it to them, Christian. They have to listen. Okay. No, give it to it. I have a face <laughs> for dawn, another for dusk. In realms of time, I'm a constant, not a husk. With every step, my gaze does change. Past and future, I rearrange. Oh, I got it. What am I? In moments unfurled, a mystery of time. I got it. Face world. I got it. You're good. I got it. Yes, Athena. <laughs> You're a clock. And then the head turns all the way around and goes, "I told you that was too easy, Janice. Fine. <laughs> we'll do mine then." <clears throat> Two. You guys ready for the second riddle, or do you need a break? No, go. You can turn around. Go. Your friend is looking a bit dry. You guys have a short rest? I could use a little nap. You guys just took a long rest, like, seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine, go ahead. Guardian of passages, I stand tall. A curve of mysteries, a silent thrall. Keys of destiny I seem to hold, and echoes of stories, both new and old. Through me, realms intertwine and part, a threshold where secrets start. What am I, in stone or wood, a silent witness where tales are understood? Your library. Blasted backwards, five first. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see Alex like standing up and like, oh shit, like looking rough. Oh, my Dryad is gonna come over and give him ten good berries. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have time today. I'm a long rest, so reset. Yeah. Oh, that's true. I'm gonna I'm eat four of those to get back to full health. <laughs> Alex like hunched over and just. There's <laughs> a library. <laughs> <clears throat> he gets it on the second try. Can we can we get it one more time? Of course, I'd be happy to say it again. <clears throat> and actually, I will put this one in the uh, in the chat. What if we just stomp um, on him? 
Garden? Yeah, that's not a good game. That's not a good game. Like, no, try it. Try it. Try it. Guardian of Passages, I Stand Tall, A Curve of Mysteries, A Silent Thrall, Keys of Destiny I Seem to Hold, In Echoes of Stories Both New and Old, Through Me Realms Intertwine and Part, A Threshold Where Secrets Start. What am I in stone or wood? A silent witness where tales are understood. A lock. Did you say lock? Yeah. You go flying backwards Damn. five force damage. Okay. Are you a door? Fly backwards. Well, I'm luckily I almost guessed that one. <laughs> but you only take one force damage. Uh, oh, fuck. You noticeably fly less far than everyone, too. <laughs> less far. Uh. Can I do an insight check? Yeah, give me an insight check. <laughs> On what? <laughs> On the riddle. On the, the riddle? See the if ride. I get any loops. What's the point of giving you a riddle if you could just like nat 20 and insight check? <laughs> <laughs> um, give me an insight check though. Roll me your insight check, Alex. Oh, yeah, God. Alex, you like tried, but you notice you notice Toph get thrown less far back. Um, even though Kaida just got blasted as far back as you did, and it's kind of annoying that Toph didn't go as far back. <laughs> hey, Golden Boy, uh, alias, why don't you give us a guess? I I'm trying to think. So we guessed a a, a library, um, a book, I believe. A library, no, a lock, lock, a, a library, lock. a lock, and a door. So it's not a book either, because he thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a book either. If you were curious, that's fourteen insight for you right there. That's yeah. fourteen insight from the child of Athena there. What's almost a door? A portal. Uh, I was thinking like a closet, maybe. I I go for it. Yeah. Okay, I'll go up. Is it a closet? Five force damage, flying backwards. A uh, portal. Um, the you kind of the guy sits and thinks for a little bit and goes, "We'll take it." Yeah. And the door clicks, and the small door goes, and he goes. So before I make you guys small, is there anything else you guys wanted to do while you're still large? What do you mean you'll And you guys just flash to about like two <laughs> inches tall each. And he pushes you guys and he like points out to the door. You notice he's actually about twice your size now. He stands about four inches tall and he goes, I didn't realize how small you all were. When you were before, it looked anyway. Question. Is talk yeah. still shorter than everybody else? Yeah. <laughs> What, what was the answer? I want to know. An but, archway. I thought oh. I was thinking that, but I didn't get where the yeah. keys did it. Uh, it yeah, what's the key? Some of it's metaphorical. Like, uh, the um, the key of destiny refers to the St. Louis arch, the manifest destiny, you know, the key to the West. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so no, it was I, I, I was going to say door frame if, or like, we didn't door. come up with one. I would have given it to door frame. Door, I didn't give it to because door is, I. it's not like an opening. Like, I needed something that was like an opening. So archway, yeah. doorway, something like that. Door was too, door is something different. I got you. But he, he was, he's, a, you know, a kind god, so he gave it to you in the end. He's a god? Which god? What god is this? Oh, yeah. This dude just made you small with, like, a flick of his wrist. He's okay, very much That's Yeah, not James, James, is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Janus. Yeah, oh, sorry, sorry. I'm so Jesus sorry. For a second. Yeah, this is God. We just brought in Christianity to this part of hell, too. Um, I'm um, I'm he's like, like, so, off you go, right? Into the slums of Asphodel? Okay. Do you have any advice for us? Nah. But y'all made my day. Have a good time. And he we... puts his feet kind of up and starts rocking in his chair. Can we say bye Thank to your you. second head, too? And he, like, wraps around, and he goes, Hey, what's up? You guys uh, want advice or something? No, we're just saying bye. Cool. Do, yeah. you any, do, you, do you have any advice for the other side of the wall? No, but this this was a great part of my day. Thanks, guys. 
Yeah, you're welcome. Have can, we see, can we see the other head? Yeah! <laughs> he just flips and then just starts spinning a bunch of circles to the point that makes you uneasy and forces you through the wall. <laughs> the DM said he's done. So, <laughs> on the other side, you guys find yourselves looking up at blades of grass. Like, these tall blades of, like, wheat grass, basically, are, like, just massively above your head. Can we take advantage of being small for the next hour in some way? Is there something we can do? Uh, have, you, have you played the game Grounded? I was thinking <laughs> the exact same thing. And so if what? you have, you realize it's not much, but I'm with it. Uh, no, it's a lot. <laughs> but can we play in, uh, can we play in arachnophobia that. mode where all the spiders we see are just two circles? No nah, man, <laughs> I, I have played in that mode before, but no, those spiders are scary. They're massive. Talia, give me a nature check. <laughs> Is there a spider? <laughs> Tristan, I like your pig pen. Yeah, Talia, that's good enough. Um, unmistakably sticking its nose through the grass in front of you is a rat. And normally a rat wouldn't be much of a problem. However, this rat is the size of all of you combined and then a little more. And it starts sniffing really close to your face, Talia. Mm. Um, no, thank you, sir. Uh, my bubble, our bubble, your bubble. <laughs> and it, it starts circling around you guys now, kind of making a, a path back and forth around you guys. Thank you so much. That is our bubble and your bubble. I have this. Um. Oh, actually, I'm. This is my time to shine. I oh, totally yeah. forgot about this. Um. I'm just gonna charm it. Nice. Cool. Oh, let me make a wisdom saving throw for the rat. If not, um, I can I have a persuasion check mm -hmm. from um Michaeli at disadvantage because it doesn't understand you? Can I also have a um, persuasion check for the, for, uh, Kaida, and then I'm gonna make a wisdom save in one second. It's wisdom, right? Yeah, and it's 14. Okay. Um, okay. Or, if not, I've got animal friendship I'll use next. Does this do anything? It fails. Yeah. On deception? No, it doesn't. Oh, well, are you trying to sound like a rat? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't understand me, but I'm like familiar to it. Oh, with this, as all of this is happening, three of you guys are all just yelling things at this rat. Kaida is speaking in a language that most of you do not recognize, but the rat seems to understand. Talia has made quite an impression on the rat, it feels like. And um, as all of this is happening, Milo's like, and just like throws his like little dryad <laughs> statue at the thing. And the rat stops, opens his mouth real wide around um, Milo's head, like he's gonna take a bite, and then just starts licking Milo's face. Guys, you wanna ride my, my mouse? My rat? Excuse me? <laughs> hey, hey, bud, uh, can, we get a, can we get a lift? A yeah, I'm gonna tell the rat. Uh, yeah, well, he, he can understand him. Oh, okay. And the rat goes, yeah, bro, hop on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where's your destination, man? Where are you guys heading? I really oh, like that redheaded one of you. Dude hey, seems yo. chill. Milo, he likes you. I like, know. He's. A, I love him. He's can a he, bro. Can, he him can you tell him I love him? Uh, he loves you. That's pretty sick, bro. Everyone, hop on. Let's do. It. Let's ride this bitch. <laughs> Wait, I'm this bitch. Let's do it, guys. <laughs> Yeah. Like, oh, 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 hand. oh my gosh. I'm gonna do oh, oh, my rope to make little stirrups so we can <laughs> give me a survival check. I love it. I love it. Thank I need it to happen. Oh my gosh. You make a Did you refresh? <laughs> Just please. No, because the answer to your question, you don't know how to make stirrups. But you guys all load up on the back of this rat and he goes, So like where are we heading, bro? And that's where we're going to end the session today. Nice. <laughs> I'm so happy we are on the back of this oh, rat. We got a Can we know the rat before we end the session? Yeah. What was that? Can you please ask the rat's name before we end the session? Oh, it's just I didn't give the rat a name yet. 
Um, let's go with uh. Chad. Uh, what? He's Remy. A Chad. Remy. Remy. It's Remy. <laughs> yeah, I used to be this cool chef in Paris, man. Passed away. Okay, so a rat in Greek hell has a name from a fictional rat in a French cooking movie. What's the question? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting things straight. You also, entered, you also entered hell from an elementary school in Phoenix, so I don't know why you're getting stuck on the rat thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. <laughs> Everyone I'm gonna ask, is the rat dead or alive? Maybe the rat came in here the same way y'all did. Maybe the rat's a soul. Unclear. <laughs> Either way, his name is Remy. But seven of you guys are posted up on this rat, starting to uh, move through the fields. Love it, gosh. Love it, love it. There you go, my love. I know. <sighs> well, thank y'all. Yeah, what do yeah. you guys think? How are you, uh, you feel like you're gonna get there? You think you're gonna do it? <laughs> yeah. For some reason. I think oh it would be right? I think that our best bet was to storm the castle, but I guess if everybody else thinks that we should just follow the rest of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Every single one of us. Okay. Also, I would just like to add in the books, like in the second series, that janitor Bob, he goes to Tartarus, which is the hell in hell. But he doesn't want to go with us? No, y'all bored him a little. He was <laughs> like, yeah. This is the third time, like, uh, Alias has, like, tried to be him, like, compared to Percy, and has come up monumentally short. Technically, <laughs> this is before that happened. Oh, it is before that happened, but still, it's, like... No, technically, it's before <laughs> that happened. I know it is, but... How <laughs> many decision? This can't be as dangerous as Tartarus. Hey man, I was trying. I love the idea that Alias is just a Percy Jackson fanboy and mad that his adventure hasn't worked the same way Percy's did. <laughs> like, I have literally tried everything that Percy did in these situations, and not a single one is worked. Like, still don't know. Like Percy played with Cerberus and to, like bypassed him because he had a ball. They threw we, a ball. We specifically made the plan that Hades after that happened made sure Cerberus wouldn't fall for that again. That was a discussion <laughs> that we had. <laughs> I'm not going to let you, like, the same way, if you just start playing a harp, you're not going to put him to sleep like the old, like, thing. We, he's gotten better, slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Through, training. Through training. Not good enough, though. Not good enough. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Even with his two little dog buddies. <laughs> Tragic. No, that's I, I, I appreciate you guys putting up with talk. Um being drunk uh <laughs> <laughs> when Tosh has been like funneling drinks all time i like talk flirting with persephone that made me happy <laughs> well then he was hiding behind her i want to make that clear that's not <laughs> <laughs> felt like he was trying to cut the field full honesty but <laughs> <laughs> Well, all right. Um, next week we're gonna try to finish this, and then week off, and then starting the next campaign. So if you haven't sent backstories to Brendan and I, do it. If you haven't sent a character description to Marshall, do it. Christian. No, no, I know. I I think I think I'm changing the sex. I'm not sure yet. I'm sure we'll figure this out. Are you so, are you gonna play as a female female and become a Rakimi 2.0? No, don't say <laughs> that. That's why. That's why I'm hesitant because, because if she dies again and it's my fault, I'm I'm not playing anymore. So, or or I'll go on a limb and say they both hate women, and I'll just throw that out there. So, um, be let let's just fall where they may. Let's just fall where they may. Or died in session two, and then you became a male and died in session three. So don't put this on us. <laughs> Closet. The next <laughs> session, I died. Just, we haven't I'm... killed a character that wasn't revived since session three of Vigna, <laughs> but we killed two in the course of the second and third session. And they were both my characters. They were both yours. <laughs> to oh be fair, God. one of them <laughs> wasn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no question. No question. One what of is... them was Colby and Marshall's fault, 100%. Not, not my fault. Sure. I didn't know what's what to the... do. Not my fault either. I don't know how, what's but it's first... not. Was the first fight uh, matched up equally yeah. with us? Yeah. Yeah. 
It was supposed to be a hard fight, I believe. You, you died um, fighting the closets, and the only reason you died is because your friends ran so far away they couldn't get to you in time to stabilize you. Yeah. <laughs> and they ran to try no, to I, wake up. I the called guy who out, out and up. up, and someone didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> and then later, closets did kill McKaylee, but to be fair, that was a dream. Yeah. <laughs> it was a drug induced dream. <laughs> Good times. Oh, Good that was fun, time. you guys. We will finish yeah. it next week, hopefully. So oh, far, you all have been on time. This is where yeah. we want to do. So I don't know what's <laughs> happening. Good job, team. All right. On the back of a giant rat? Yeah. <laughs> well, 90, you can get a rat would have bit you, but. 85% of what we expected. So. Yes. <laughs> yes. Agreed. 85. Okay, everyone I say bye to the recording. Bye. 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 Bye.